hide. <laughs> oh, let me push the button and see. Let me monitor. <laughs> oh, ads. It's wonderful. Hey, guys. What's up? I hope everyone is having a super amazing day. One sec. Hey, Jazz. What's up? I hope you're having a beautiful day. Wow, Jazz. What? <laughs> Hey, the sound is wonderful. Just one second. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna make it really loud. I want to hear if it's spiking or not. Check one, two. Check one, two. Oh wow, it's gonna it's wow, I think we're doing okay with the sound these days, guys. Well, good job, Sonny. I'll tell you something. Mercury's retrograde. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Mercury's retrograde. Guys, it's great to see everyone. It I'm really happy to be here. Uh, tomorrow is chemo day, so it's going to be an early morning, so it won't be a late night for me tonight. Um, ah, oh, right on, Jazz. Okay, let me put this phone over here. That phone's there. Okay. Let me get Jasmine's picks. Two of wands, three of wands. Nice. Nice. Chariot and two of cups. Nice. Okay. And Jasmine is right there. Nice. All right. Well, you know, Jazz, I'll tell you something about chemotherapy. Because <laughs> Sunny knows everything. Uh, go ahead, Sue. All right. So, you know what's, what's difficult? What's, it's all difficult. Do you guys know this? Some of the stuff uh, that you would normally take, like stuff you read on the internet, like take all this vitamin C or take all this garlic or take this or take that. And I might be giving bad examples, but uh, the instructions when you're under chemo say you can't do a lot of that stuff that they say on the internet to do. So like, you know, like, <laughs> you know, that's stressful. So there's... You know, you can't take, you know, watch the garlic, watch the, so there are certain fruits you can eat, certain fruits that they say interfere with the chemotherapy. It's a tricky thing. It's really stressful. And I was thinking the, um, <laughs> you gotta behave as a girl like this, buddy. I was thinking the, um, when my dad was sick at the end of the trial, he was on trial medication at the very end a couple of months ago. On this thing called lawn serve. And I was thinking, when he's finished lawn, when he's finished the trial, and he was finished the trial and he died like three weeks later, two weeks later, like right, right on schedule, he died. <laughs> so the, I was, but I was thinking that time right there, when I'd return, come back from Chicago, he could, um, that would be the time to do all of that fun new agey stuff with him and he would have done it because he's a new agey guy i have a bookshelf right here filled with all the new agey shit he used to study and so and he used to study psychic and mysticism like this shit and so the and but he was a business guy right he's an mba he's a math guy anyways but that's what i was gonna do when we were gonna do all that it's not, i'm not saying that you said it no no i'm just telling you guys just reminiscing here under mercury retrograde that um that's the crazy thing about chemotherapy, you know? And so when Mama Sunshine is finished this round at the end of the month of January, uh, we might go to Quebec for a little bit to the healing church there. Um, I might go get some healing water or uh, at that point, uh, we might, you know, I might, you know, try certain things, try some ashwagandha, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, so that's the... Um, that's that's the thing <laughs> you know so that's anyway just letting you guys know some a weird thing about chemotherapy <laughs> that we're go, that we've been going through around here all right anyways next move on what are you two guys anyways what are you guys talking about jazz says enough and i'm not being morbid or anything i'm just thinking we're we're fighters here we're gonna we we're doing okay jazz says two of wands three of wands chariot two cups nice sue says oh those are your picks okay sue Sun, Hierophant, Temperance, and Judgment. Nice. Hey, Dope Soul, what's up, player? 
Cash app is cool, my man. Dope soul. You can totally cash app if you like. It's in the description box. Actually, one sec. I'm in the description box right now. Messing with Sue's picks. And my cash app is right here. I'll put it in the description. Uh, one sec. The um, Also, after we pick the cards, right? We're going to pick the cards on time tonight because I'm just goofing off. Uh, and my mind is my mind my mind was a hundred percent focused on you guys and part of you guys is this girl's Aaliyah's chart remember that girl came in last night and I was supposed to read her chart but I was like we're tired it was late I was on for five hours and I'm like okay and she said it's okay you can wait Sonny and she had those two questions that I thought oh like let's talk about it for everybody which was what we're going to do tonight and but tonight I'm looking at her chart and I'm like this is an intense chart, man. It's like, fuck, this girl, this can't be a real date in history. This chick is going through some stuff. Oh, like, it's a thing. Oh, okay, well, whatever. I'll show you guys in a sec. Command V. Oh, that didn't work very well. <laughs> Let's try that again. Fuck. I did it again. Stop swearing, everybody. Hold on. What if some kids are watching? Oh, my goodness. Once more. Command C. C. Command C. Okay, here we go, dope. There you go, playa. That's the cash app. We'll all hear a ding. It'll ding on my phone. Okay, let me leave that for a sec. A ginger pick. Hold on. We have to get ginger's picks in there. Six of wands for a bonus. Oh, man. Command C. <laughs> okay. Ginger's already scored a point for the month, guys. You guys are so cute. Oh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Everybody be cool. Wow. I haven't I didn't even drink. We're not even drinking wine tonight. <laughs> Just um huh, no more. We're trying to. No more calories. Got to watch the calories for a little bit. It's a new year, right? It's almost almost time to get back in shape. Okay. So here we go. So this girl has one hell of a chart, guys. Holy crap, Ola. Like, holy crap, Ola. Like, it's violent. Her chart is violent. But at the same time, it's very restrict. She rest it's very restricted. It's very restricted. Vi very violent. And um, it's like to it should be extremely popular, extremely successful. This is a special chart. It's kind of scary to look at because it's so fucking dangerous. It's opposite. But all right, next we'll look at it a little later. I'm getting spooked by a chart. <laughs> so, all right, next. Hey guys, how about that Mercury retrograde? All of a sudden, what do you guys think? Anything messed up happening with anybody? Anything a little bit screwy going on? Let's say I watched the Americans today. I watched the Americans today a little bit. And the, um, that, <laughs> that Congress, they're stymieing that guy. That's pure. Can you imagine? Um, can you imagine? <laughs> like he's, he's worked so hard. What's his, um, I don't really like to say the names, but, or oh, whatever. That Kevin McCarthy guy, he worked so hard. For so many years, and he kissed so much ass, <laughs> and he really like bent over so hard. Oh my god, that guy has like, oh my god, he touches his toes, cause and like he did, and they're like just stymieing him right at the door. And like, no, poor guy. And it's not, you know, I'm not for against anybody. I'm just saying, poor guy. <laughs> and what a screwy situation. But it's Mercury retrograde. How can you imagine? You know, you get elected, you win the thing, and you're, the vote is held during Mercury retrograde. And we've just begun, guys. We've just begun. So, like, they're going to... That, that poor guy's going to go through nonstop screwiness. For, it's, like, it's so funny. Oh, my goodness. Poor guy. Um, What other nonsense Mercury retrograde stuff's going on? There's one very serious, not funny Mercury retrograde thing going on. And that's that um, guy uh, who killed the Idaho Four, that Brian Kohugaberger. 
That guy, that is not funny. They arrested that guy right at the beginning of Mercury retrograde. Astrologically. Guys, astrologically. Hey, guys. I hope everyone's having a beautiful day. Oh, you got it, Nikki. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here, hold on. Let me write Nikki down or I'll, I won't see it. I'll, I'll forget it. And I'll come back in a second. I'll get your picks. The um, guessing cards, Aaliyah, Nikki B. He, guys, it's not funny, you know. That, it's not funny. They arrested that guy under Mercury Retrograde. Something is going to F up. Like, something is going to be screwy here. Like, like, <laughs> so maybe they might, they might have the, like, he might seriously OJ. Like, for whatever reason, he might totally OJ on this one. Not because I think he's innocent. Obviously not. <laughs> so like, obviously, the people, the, the, but astrologically, they're, they're beginning this thing under Mercury retrograde. And it's the court of law. You only have to cast doubt. Does this mean that everyone who goes to court this week is going to, you know, not be found guilty? Um, no, not necessarily. Not necessarily. <laughs> but, you know, it's a screw. It's a screwy kind of thing. It's like the Kevin McCarthy thing. It's screwy. It's so funny to watch. The guys get it. <laughs> like, He's getting the holy tagola from his whole thing. And they're like, yeah, this is what the fuck. So, but that kind of thing, that thing is what's happening astrologically for everybody. And so that thing might happen to that Kevin Gohugaburg guy. So, man, we got to watch it. And not only them, for you guys too. You guys have to watch out for what's going on in your lives. I've had Mercury retrograde experience since I began. Like it's been so like, oh, but I'm taking everything with a grain of salt and shot of tequila, except today. <laughs> so, all right, hold on. Let me grab your picks. Man, that Mercury retrograde, holy smokes. So, normally, I don't really phase it. Okay, Nikki's on the list. Okay, guys. So, hey, guys, so your picks are going to be in the description box. And if I don't have them in the description box, I didn't get there yet. Okay, I'm at L. The Empress, oh, 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 the Empress, Justice, Page of Wands, Nine of Swords. Well played. All right. No, I just, I'm just telling you guys. Um, I'm, I'm looking around for signs of this astrology stuff that's happening, and that's what's, that's happening. That stuff that happened to Jasmine on the weekend. Mercury retrograde and Mars retrograde. Oh my God. Hold on. Let me write this down because the, um, because I'm distracting myself. Okay. L. Let me just pop in L's picks. L. Empress, Justice, Page of Wands, Nine of Swords. Nice. Who's next? Yeah, I think Helby's got the Rona. Oh, man. He got the Rona. He got the Helby's got the kissing disease. Woo. <laughs> it's not like, I didn't kiss nobody. I didn't kiss nobody. Yeah, it's transmitted through fluids. It's, you get a, the, the Rona by kissing ass. <laughs> and so that's the deal. Didn't you guys know that? Didn't you guys know that the new variant of the coronavirus, you can get it by kissing ass? <laughs> okay, so there's L. <laughs> well, I'm listening. Anyways, I was just telling you guys, so that thing that Jasmine went through or some of the, the nonsense you guys went through, it's Mercury retrograde because people, right? People. Miscommunication, you know? But the... I'm saying it mildly, miscommunication. But the... Um, Mars is also retrograde, right? So the Mars retrograde is going to, uh, it's, you know, it's going to continue to cause violence in certain areas. In addition to that, she's a Taurus, right? <laughs> so as a Taurus is not out of the woods. <laughs> so, you know, when I'm a Scorpio, I'm not out of the woods yet. Taurus is not out of the woods yet. And so not that that means, you know, to be a target or anything, but 
Okay, Samantha V with one point, two of cups, page of cups, three of wands, and the fool card. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy we're playing this game. Okay, what else do you guys say? You guys are thinking that... Oh, you guys want to know if I think he murdered them? Oh, good question. The, um... Oh, I understand. I understand. Hey, Jasmine, I don't remember. Did anybody remember? Did I pull up, like, you know... Hey, Erica, come, let's get those picks in. The... Do they... Do you guys remember what... It, was it, like... The, oh, pff, sorry. I just blew up my screen. Just went... Shh. Um, I wonder... Like, I know the astrology says something. It def, The astrology is definitely saying it. I wonder if the, um, the tarot card... The tarot was saying something similar as well. I can't remember. Okay, Tien is... Uh, yeah, it, you know, it's it's embarrassing. Yeah, it's it's embarrassing, man. <laughs> like, it really is. Okay, TN's picks. And, oh my goodness. <laughs> I just want to, I don't want to say anything offensive. The, um, you just got to, it's just. Hey, you know what else? Okay, TN says, Judgment, Magician, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Hey, did, is Wing One here? Did she pick yet? You know what, guys? The and you know for Jasmine and anyone else had who had altercations this weekend. The we had altercations over here. Not me. <laughs> not me. Not me. Not me. I didn't altercate with anyone. I made a promise to my dad to limit my altercationing. <laughs> so I so I do not altercate. <laughs> I'm very fuck you. I'm <laughs> very fuck you. My ball is not even here, motherfucker. <laughs> so I don't think I should be either. So, so <laughs> all right, next. Oh goodness. <sighs> okay, okay. So on the so in the and we're coming to a full moon, right? We're approaching the full moon, and so the what like. Ever since Mercury went retrograde, it's feeling like all of um, uh, people's poor communication habits are coming back. Uh, mental illness. <laughs> mental illness is rearing its head again. A bit of apathy. Some people might have apathy. You know, some people might be overly emotional. Uh, the brains are have gone not so bananas man the brains many brains are checking out and one sec guys after erica's picks are here it's it's you gotta it's like and look hell beast's family is sick you know it can affect that obviously it can affect that one sec i'm picking so erica says do 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 jet oops she says, Judgment, Hanged Man, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Nice. No, man. This whole thing. This, uh, like, it's not, like, Mars is, <laughs> Mars is attacking everybody and everything. Like, it, it is. Like, Mars is just, <laughs> and Mercury's retrograde. And to be honest, I'm not really focused on the outer world right now. I'm really, honest to God, I'm really just focused on Mama Sunshine and that's it because we're in mercury retrograde and i'm gonna say it again there are mercury retrograde style relationships and certain things happen to certain people under mercury retrograde and it's no you know slc and i talk about this all the time if you're born with a mercury retrograde or what have you but that's not what i'm talking about i'm speaking about mercury you events happen in your life during this Mercury retrograde period where you're going to, and th that will repeat under Mercury retrograde. It's like a simple timing marker. Like every time Mercury re go goes retrograde, you see this guy. What the hell? <laughs> it's like that. So it's like that. So, so there you go. Okay. So there's the first thing. <laughs> there's the first thing. When Mercury goes retrograde, that's what happens. Mercury retrograde relationships come back. And in my mind right now, because I know this, 
uh, one of the big Mercury retrograde relationships that we're going through at Casa Sunshine is with Mama Sunshine and test results. So test results, medication, you know, testing. And so uh, that's what I'm focused on because dur around, during this time period, uh, we're finishing the chemo cycles and uh, we have, you know, CT scans and we have like tests coming up. And so that's what I'm most concerned about. I'm concerned about, you know, if she gets sick, misdiagnosis, a little cold outside, you know, if anybody falls down. Like, I'm worried about this kind of stuff. Like, that's what I'm worried about. That's what I'm worried about right now because Mercury's retrograde. When Mercury goes direct, again, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to worry about other things. <laughs> but so, but that's what's affecting me during, that's what affects me during this Mercury retrograde situation. As far as you guys are concerned, you, you know, you should identify these things in life that constantly return under Mercury retrograde. I'll give you another example. The I used to drive a, a, a like an old sports car. It was really cool too. I loved it. I loved, 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 loved it. <laughs> and it's, I want another one. And so they, uh, it's um, and I sold. It. I didn't have any money at the time. I just sold my car. Life sucks. <laughs> so the, you know, so. It's, you know, but I bought that under Mercury retrograde, you know, and I'm talking about Mercury retrograde tonight because one, we're under Mercury retrograde. And two, uh, the questions I'm going to answer for Aaliyah's chart have to do with this Mercury retrograde thing. And I'll tell you these stories and other ones in a little later. And this is the last story. And then we'll move to guessing the cards. I bought that car under Mercury retrograde and I loved it. And I had that car for like, 10, 12, 14 years. I had it for the longest time. And I'd still have it today if I didn't need the money. And so, and it's worth a lot of money right now. Like, I really, fuck, you know, you sometimes got to pay your rent sometimes. And so that was the deal. Anyways, the, um, so I had a Mercury retrograde relationship with the car, right? I loved it. And it loved me. And we were really cool. And it was synonymous with my identity for a long time. And then, uh, you know, but you know, I have to replace the clutch, man. <laughs> it's only this expensive, you know. I'd like, you know, so this is gonna rewire the engine, you know, it's expensive. It's so like, you know, it caught on fire once, it's expensive, <laughs> like, you know, what the fuck, you know, like it was funny. You know, maybe the gasoline leaked a little bit. Like, what the fuck? You know, no smoking in the Zen. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God. To be young and stupid again. Holy shit. That was such a fun life. <laughs> so, okay. Whatever. So anyway, Zed's gone, man. <laughs> so, so, okay. Anyways, that was a Mercury retrograde relationship. It didn't last forever. Uh, there were problems with it. A lot of problems, but I loved it. When we come back, maybe I'll tell you the Mercury retrograde relationship SLC had with her car. That was even that was even funnier. She doesn't even drive. She never even drive. She never, she never drove there. You're like, what? Really you just sat there. Holy God. All right, let's get back to it. So what I'm so keep all of this in mind when we do Aaliyah's reading a little later. Okay, let me pick the cards. Let me grab someone's. I missed uh, someone snuck in. Wing one snuck in, and someone else snuck in. I believe. And then we'll pick the cards and we'll get on to things. Okay, so Erica. We have Erica's picks. And we have... Okay. Oh, you guys talking about the Rona, right? All right. Wing one's in the house. Ten of cups. Magician. Queen of cups. Four of wands. Nice. Thanks, wing one. All right. There we go. Oh, man. It's hilarious. Life is such a trip, man. Life is such a trip. <laughs> like, you have to cut yourself some slack, though. Give yourself a chance to be human. It's okay. It's embarrassing. It's not really that okay. I can't really say that. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, wig one. We have you. You're in the description box. Who else is there? Anyone else sneak in, or is it time for me to make my picks? Oh. Hey, Lise, what's up? You, okay, well, <laughs> so hold on, hold on. The, um,
Hey, Lise, come on. Oh, hey, Lise, come on. Let's get your picks in. All right. Oh, dope. Let me check. Cash app is okay. It's not the same to me. Do, do, do. I got you. Did, does this say you're, um, you're cool? Can I get okay? <laughs> so dope. Can I get your birth information? No, you're gonna, you'll be in right after Leah. Can I get your, um, birth information? Your birth date, birth time, and birth city, if you have it, all of it. And I'll put you in the description box right now. Oops. I got you right here, man. We'll, we'll have uh, Nikki's Tarot reading first, then Aaliyah, and then Dope. You are up, Playa. Okay. All right, I got to make my picks. I have to make my picks. Oh, my God. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh, I have five minutes. I have five minutes to goof around a little bit. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's okay. The pressure is on. How do you guys deal with all of this pressure? Oh, Lisa, right on, Lisa. All right, hold on. Okay. Save that. Lisa, D, six of cups, ten of swords, seven of wands. Four of Cups. You guys learning your throw cards like this, too. All right. I'm cool with that. Good job, Sonny. Well, you know, man. I like to teach. Whatever. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I do that right into the mic, right? All right. Come on, guys. Sonny's time to pick Sonny's cards. I'm drinking lemon water tonight. Oh. Yo, Karina, Mama K, what's up? I hope you are having, having a super beautiful day. You and your little Sunny Sider 2.0. I hope you guys are having a super amazing day. Okay, here we go. Sunny's, I'm getting ready to pick the cards. I have Dope Soul, May 12th, 1990, Newark, New Jersey, at 10.06 a.m. Cool. We'll, uh, after, we'll load you in. You'll see everything as we go along. Okay, let me pick my cards, and then we'll do it. Hey, guys, anyways, as I was saying about that thing, you know, you guys asked if I thought that he did it. Oops, wrong screen. Do I think that he did it? I think he, um, what the fuck? I think, I think he probably did it. I like, I don't, I don't really, I don't, I, I didn't really think about if he did it or not. Honestly, I didn't think, I'm not thinking about that. I, uh, I, I'm thinking about uh, more along the lines of, could he do it? Okay, like, I'm just beating around the bush talking stupidness here. Do I think he did it? Fuck. <laughs> like, like, seriously? Do I think he did it? I'll clean up the language, guys. Do I think he did it? Hey, Sylvia, what's up? I hope you're having a super beautiful day. I Do I think he did it? In, I, I think... I think... I think he's going to get... I think he's going to get off. <laughs> like, I think... There's nothing that says he, there's like, he could just say he didn't do it. He could said he went there for a party and everybody was dead. Or he went there for a party and like, he fell in the blood. Like he could say anything. Like there's no, like, I think he's going to get off. Like, like, I, I, uh, like, unless he has like, I don't know what this, I think it's this Mercury retrograde. I think this Mercury retrograde is really going to screw him up a little bit, you know. All right, let me get back to picking the cards. Sorry, I was distracting. We have work work to do tonight. And I can't stay on too long because we have chemo in the morning. Okay, hold on. Jess says, do you think it's a good idea to post about the incident on social media? 
Well, uh, you know, that's a good question. So Jasmine wants to know if it's a good idea to post about the incident on social media, not saying names or give away who it was, just explaining how it went down. Good question. It, you, you have to be sensitive when you do that. Uh, and you have to be careful because that kind of, that you want, you guys know the obvious, right? Let's not be overly emotional in this situation. Very serious. Like, calm down. Okay, everybody calm down. You don't want to turn it into a pity party. I said, you didn't say you're going to do that. I didn't say that's what you're trying to do. I said, you don't. What's going to happen is you're going to create this thing and this thing is going to create all this emotional, have this emotional backlash as it should. And one of those emotional backlashes might be a, a sense of pity party. And you don't want that. You want, and you don't want victimhood here. I believe, I believe you should always approach things from a position of strength. Like, I don't know what that crazy bitch want. <laughs> so like, like that, or I wish them the best. Why won't these people just fuck off? <laughs> so, like, you know, I got things to do in my life. But that's Sonny and Sonny's way of doing things. And that's not everybody's way of doing things. And the way Sonny does things is very different than Miss Leo Rising over there. <laughs> so, like, here I am not a Leo Rising. I'm Gemini Rising. I talk it out. I'm also a Scorpio. So, there you go. So, you know, so, so I would say be sensitive to the event. Be sensitive to how you present the information to achieve what it is that you're trying to achieve. Normally, I would just post about puppies. But, like seriously, normally I would post about puppies. I am very tempted to do that constantly when I fight with certain people. But, like, you know, should you do it? I would, I always recommend defaulting to taking the higher road. I really sincerely, honest to God, believe in the higher road. I really, really do. My father did. My mother does. I very, very much believe in taking the higher road, although I don't always do it because there are times when I fight. I fight dirty. I'm known as someone who will fight dirty when it the need, when the, <laughs> when the need arises. I have a reputation of fighting a little dirty. But at the same time, nine times out of ten, I'm trying to take the high road and People can get away with a lot of stuff. So that's my two cents on that. I can only tell you what my two cents are. Are there times when I freak out and do all this stupid sh all this stuff? Oh, yes, there are definitely times I do that. And you guys know that because you guys are the sunny side. And I'm the, I, you guys are the ones I freak out to. You guys are the ones I do all my stupid stuff. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck? You guys are the one I bitch and cry to. So like, what the fuck? And I've been doing it for years. So I can't really say no. Okay, I can't say no because I do it to you. But at the same time, I'm just trying to say, be careful. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do, right? <laughs> okay, let's pick the cards and move on. Okay, so that's my two cents on that. Okay. <laughs> you guys know the deal. Like, you guys love to see me get... Oh my god, I'm gonna get it. Oh my god, I can't believe that motherfucking. <laughs> Fuck. I'd be so full of shit if I said that. You guys see me do that. Look at Elle's laughing. So if you guys just sit there laughing, oh, why don't you have another beer, Sonny? Sonny doesn't drink beer unless he's really depressed or he's not like a part. He's sitting. Sonny only drinks beer at airports. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. What's he doing? He's drinking. So what's Sonny drink? He's drinking beer. Oh, fuck. Where's he going? I think he's at the airport again. <laughs> what the fuck, man? All right, everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is too funny. What's Sonny eating? A hamburger? Where's Sonny? At a restaurant? Oh, my God. SLC changed the locks again? What the fuck did he do this? What the fuck did they do? They did this. Oh, my God. Oh, fucking hell. You guys think it's that. But whatever you do, no, don't. Don't post. Don't tell nobody. Go sit in the bar by yourself. Just sit there. Don't talk and go like, yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody calm down. Okay, everybody calm down. All right. <laughs>
<sighs> Everybody, calm down. <laughs> do as I wish I could do. <laughs> Not do as I wish I could do. Okay, next. Everybody, cool. That's my two cents. The um. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, next. Oh no, Lilith and Cancer will be okay, Karina. He's going to be like super mothering, super nurturing. Oh no, Lilith and Cancer is okay. <laughs> you look healthy. No, I'm just saying that like I can't, you know, I, I can't be full of shit to you guys. K1, good, gotcha, right there. Hold on a sec. Okay. Oh yeah, Jazz. It's it's Mercury retrograde. K one, I got you right here. <laughs> hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let's go. Let's get psychic. Hold on, I gotta get psychic. Let me just put K one in here, and then I'll get psychic. K one, King of Wands, Ace of Cups, Temperance, Four of Swords. All right, Sunny, focus. Oh, man, I'm having a hell of a life experience these days. All right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay. So here we go. Oh, no, I know. Yeah, we all know that. There's no victimhood happening here. This is all about how you want to present yourself. I can't. I can't. I don't really. I can't give good advice on this one. <laughs> this one, I absolutely cannot give good advice on. Um, but damage therapy, damage therapy, damage therapy, <laughs> damage control. Oh my God. Oh, thanks, Karina. That's really sweet. Big rubber weapons. Oh my God. You guys are out of control. Oh, your Mercury retrograde is coming out again. <laughs> your Mercury retrogrades are coming out, guys. Okay, let me pick the cards and let's get on to it. No, I know what you're I, I get no, I get that. I get the deal. I get the deal. I totally got the deal. No multiple rounds tonight, Yosh. But that's very <laughs> Oh my god, Yoshi just took some Oh my god, did you eat that entire plate of psychic Viagra? What the fudge? Oh my god. I think Yoshi took some psychic Viagra. Yoshi wants to know if we can go a couple of rounds tonight. I don't know if my aura can handle a couple of rounds tonight. <laughs> Dear Sonny, why do you laugh out of your nose? Because the rest of me is full of shit. <laughs> All right, next, next, next. Here we go. Let's pick some cards and move on. Come on, Yosh. Let's get the cards. Yosh, Yosh. <laughs> Gratitude. Let's get some your picks in. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, All right, everybody calm down. Good. All right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Next. <laughs> Next. Next. What do you think, Sonny? Oh, my God. We're having fun tonight. What's a card of fun? You guys want to say, like, the um, Nine of Cups? That's fun. That's a lot of fun. Oh, chaos. Okay, here we go. So I say Nine of Cups. Okay, Nine of Cups. What else do I say? We'll say nine of cups, having fun. And then we'll, um, I don't see myself any wishes coming true, though. <laughs> because having fun. The chariot. You guys think in the chariot? You guys have been think saying the chariot, right? Okay, chariot. Oh, it's it. Chair. Okay, chariot. Okay, nine of cups, chariot. You know... Mercury's retrograde, oh, bullshitter, ang argue, angry management. These cards have been angry these days, right? Oh, I got you, Chaos. Okay. One sec. Save. The devil, one sec. Chaos says... Shucks, hold on. Okay, here we go. All right, we're going to get Karina's picks in a sec.
Okay, one sec, guys. Chaos W. Karina. Karina says six of wands, three of pentacles, and the lover's upside down. What? That's a little kinky. What? A new mom's allowed to talk like that? Are you allowed to? A new mom's allowed to say things like the lover's upside down? What the? F I don't. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> okay, hold on. You say a lot of things, Sonny. Okay, Karina, here we go. Okay, here we go. So what do you say, Sonny? Okay, so still Sonny's still picking the cards. You'd think I was like a cancer rising, right? Why you guys think I married a cancer? I'm not the fastest guy in the world. <laughs> okay, nine of cups, chariot. Okay, nine of cups, celebration, chariot, because you guys are saying chariot. I was, uh, any card that Sue doesn't pick. Okay, what else? What else? Uh, well, I have the Empress on my mind, so we'll go with the Empress. Why not? I don't see it. I I feel full on Mercury retrograde. I I just don't see this thing happening. But we'll we'll do. Hey, you guys want to know something? You guys want to notice something about this picture? That light right above my head, back here where my head is. That's the ski hill. I think. I think that's the ski hill. Huh. I never noticed that. Okay. Whatever. Okay, Nine of Cups, Chariot, Empress, and we're going to say the um, King of Wands. I think it's time to do things. Although, I that's just bravado talking. I don't know if anything true is going to happen. Oh, my God, Jasmine. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, that's when they arrested the guy. That's when they arrested the guy. The guy is going to walk. <laughs> like something screwy is happening. Okay, let's guess the cards. I got my picks in. Oh, Sylvia, right on time. Eight of Pentacles, two of Swords. Okay, one sec. Sylvia. What? <laughs> Okay, here, here we go. So Sunny says, wow, we have a big turnout tonight. Nice. Big turnout. We have, I say, Nine of Cups, Chariot, Empress, King of Wands. Save. Here we go. All right, we are up. Check one, two, check one, two. And, oh, 15 minutes late. It's not so bad. Okay, here we go. Empress is okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Then we're going to look at Aaliyah's chart. I'll answer those two questions about uh, Mercury retrograde. Then we're going to look at... Oh, we're going to read Nikki's cards. And then we're going to look at Aaliyah's chart. Then we're going to look at Dope Soul. And then I'm going to chill out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. First up, did we get Erica's picks? Erica, everybody's in. Okay, here we go. Ace of something. Nice. <laughs> A human sacrifice killing. You think the Democrats did it? You, there's no way that Hillary Clinton did that. <laughs> it's okay, here we go. Okay, I got distracted there by... <clears throat> you think they had like a ritual kind of suicide thing? Like a cult thing? Maybe they had a cult thing. Maybe they had a cult thing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Boom! The Emperor! Oh, shit! I said the King! Wait, I didn't say the Emperor. Hold on. I didn't say the Emperor. I said the King of something. I said the King of Wands. Crap. Any of you guys say the Emperor, guys? I should have had a little bit more. Wow, a bunch of us are playing tonight. This is a big turnout. Oh, Elsa said the Empress. All right, next. No one said the Emperor? What the hell? I wasn't thinking. I thought King of the Kings. Okay, here we go. There you go. Respect, leadership, getting out there, doing it. 
excuse me, a father figure taking control of the situation, protection, control, discipline, focus, practicality, the emperor, dun, 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 and like this, I'm going through this every night. This is not cool. This is for all the technical shit I constantly do. This shit has to be figured out. <laughs> this, this one little fucking thing that I do every night with this one finger has to be figured out. This has to be sorted. <laughs> this is bullshit. She's fucking abacus. I'm gonna use to, from now on, we're doing tarot abacus. <laughs> this is fucking mental. Oh, and it's fucking reversed. Okay, stop swearing, Sonny. I can't. This whole thing is stressing me out. Okay, the emperor. Next. <laughs> Next. <sighs> that was tense, man. Okay, next. Here we go. Homemade nan would be really good. That would be really good. So, here we go. Next. And boom! Whoa! Okay, really good news, guys. Oh, I could have... The wheel... Oh, but the wheel is reversed. Oh, that's not good. So, the wheel, guys. Did anyone say the wheel? Man, we have a lot of people here picking tonight to not... <laughs> Just because my brains are spaced out doesn't mean well mercury's and okay here we go the wheel of fortune guys this is good news come well it's reversed right so it looks as if whatever good news is supposed to come our way is going to be delayed so whatever <laughs> right so whatever luck and fortune uh sunny this why are you being so pessimistic i don't mean pessimistic i'm just saying it sucks <laughs> it's like it's <laughs> Fuck, fudge Oh my God, you know what Aiden was telling me? He's got some teachers at his school who are like complaining about Biden and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? You're, you're in Canada. Why are you complaining about Biden? Oh my God. He's good. Like, that he was going about, going on about solar energy. Solar energy is like, why would it? You know, good to watch. <laughs> All right, next, next. Chaos said it? Oh, you, no way. Okay, hold on. I didn't check it. Wheel. Anyone else say the wheel? Hold on, guys. Yeah, I said chariot as well. A lot of picks in here, guys. Hey, 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 chaos. All right, gratitude. You got it. Gratitude is on the list. Here we go. Hold on. I have to type this in. Gratitude. All right, gratitude. You guys know who gratitude is, right? <laughs> okay. No outing people. Okay, here we go. Next. Here we go. Uh. Mm, and. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Sounds like boom. Ace of wands. New beginnings, guys. There you go. Oh, crap. I didn't read Anne's chart yet. It's sitting right here. Okay, so uh, this is the astrology. Sorry. Ace of Wands. Here we go. This card is... This card's right side up. Ace of Wands is good. Oh, this card is good. It looks like it's going to happen. Guys, whatever you're hoping for, whatever new beginning you're hoping for, Ace of Wands, right? New project right there. Inspiration, urge to create, it's the wands. Whatever you, whatever urge, like it looks like it's going to happen. The the wheel, maybe you're not as lucky as you think you are. Mercury's retrograde, nobody is. Well, some people are. Someone's going to win the lottery. <laughs> Can you imagine somebody wins the lottery and they like can't collect the money or their ticket is all messed up or some like crazy ex-wife is going to do it? <laughs> Fuck. 
Fuck. <laughs> okay, stop it. I can't handle this. This is stressing me out. Oh my god. This is gonna give me like Ace Ace of Wands. New beginnings. Next. <laughs> so next. Oh man, I'm stressing myself out. Hey Whitley, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Sylvia said Ace of Something. That's pretty close. That's pretty close, actually. Here we go. Next. Oh, wait. Hell Beast. Hold on. I didn't check to see. Did anyone say Ace of Wands? Oh, I'm way off, man. Oh, TN, Ace of Pentacles. Ginger, Seven of Wands. Erica, eight of, Ace of Swords. Hey, where's Navi? Okay, Page of Cups. Oh, that's Samantha. Page of Wands. Oh, Ace of Wands. L was close. Beast. Oh, Page of Wands, Beast. Page of Wands. What are you thinking? All right, here we go. Next. Check one, two. Check one, two. Here we go. The anxiety buildup. Oh, my God. All I'm trying to do is go like this on the internet. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Next. Oh, my God. Okay, next. Three more cards. And boom, three of wands, guys. Three of wands. Oh, 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 ding, 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 ding. A bunch of you guys got it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. A bunch of you guys. Three of wands. Whoa, the hardcore psychics are coming out tonight. Here we go. It took a little bit to get you guys in the groove, but oh, no, this better not stress me out. <laughs> so three of wands. It's like I'm doing some kind of fucked up concentration game. <laughs> so it's, fuck. <laughs> all it does is stress me out. No more. Like, how are you going to get a TV show if you cuss all the time, Sonny? Oh, man, if I have to do this every single night, <laughs> there's no, with my finger, there's no way I'm doing this. Because, <laughs> like, screw it. I quit. Oh, this Mercury restaurant is stressing me out, man. <laughs> okay, it's three of, three of wands. Okay, enough. Next. Who got the three? Who picked it? And next. Okay, here we go. Three of wands. We have... Jasmine. Samantha. Whoa, that's big news. Jasmine, Samantha. Jasmine, Samantha. Jasmine and Samantha. There you go, guys. Sorry. I'm having technical difficulties. Jasmine and Samantha. Up they go. Hold on one sec, guys. All right, here we go. Jasmine and Samantha. Nice. No, Jazz, you guys got it. Here we go. Psychic abilities are sleeping. <laughs> oh, my phone's beeping, but I'm busy. All right, here we go. Next, 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 next. <clears throat> I wonder if I can move this. Probably not, right? <laughs> oh, look, I did it. Look, I did it. Sonny, why don't you move it with your mind? <laughs> I'm I'm psychic. I'm not a fucking superhero. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> Oh, I made it bigger. Oh, uh, see what you guys call magic. I call technology. <laughs> All right. This heat's getting hot. I can turn the heat down in a sec, but okay, here we go. Here we go. And sounds like, sounds like, and boom. Eight of Cups. Whoa. I know I didn't say that. Eight of Cups, guys. Sounds like the color. <laughs> okay. Eight of Cups. Oh, that's breakup energy. Ooh. <laughs> this card's not reversed. So it looks like breakup energy, guys. Holy shit. This is just driving me mental. <laughs> 
Breathe. I'm not breathing. You guys know what I'm doing? I'm holding my breath. Can you see that? I'm stressing out. Oh my god. It's almost therapeutic, right? This is like weird ASMR for you guys. Watch me trying to... Okay, that's not funny. Okay, here we go. Eight of Cups. Read it yourself. Here we go. Next. Okay, next. Next. Oh my god. Oh, did any of you guys say Eight of Cups? <laughs> it's like Eight of Cups. Lisa, no. Oh, I said Nine of Cups. Oh, yeah, this is like the opposite. Eight of Cups is looking for a new party. Eight of Cups. No. No. There's no one stinking breakup energy. No Eight of Cups. Wow, look at that. All right, here we go. Last card. Last card, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Everybody ready? Check one, two. Check one, two. And then we're going to get down to our readings. Here we go. Here we go. And. <sighs> All right, Sue. See you later. Have a wonderful night. And. Bum -ba -da -da, and boom. Knight of Wands. Oh, crap. Oh, la. <laughs> oh, I didn't say this. Knight of Wands. Oh, I was on a roll, man. All right. Well, I don't need to this anymore. Okay, Knight of Wands. Oh, man. That's all right. Can't get them all, Sonny. Yes, I can. Wing one gets them all. <laughs> so, like, what, why can't I? Okay, so. Okay, here we go. Knight of Wands. Reversed. <laughs> so, well, this is travel problems, right? It's not travel problems, but, you know, working on your own stuff. Right, just working on your own stuff, doing your own thing, you know, rushing around to do your thing isn't really going to work. Doing it, you know, so take your time, right? You might be running around doing things in vain. So just take your time with the Nine of Wands uh, reverse. Just watch out. Just watch your step as you move along. Watch for accidents. Watch for delays. Everything will be okay. Just take your time. All right, next. Hold on. Let's see if any of you guys said Nine of Wands. Just because I didn't say it doesn't mean the game ends right there should but it does it doesn't knight of cups ooh close knight of cups four of wands king of wands knight of cups well you guys were all in on the knight of cups weren't you lisa's all cups oh wow well, not all cups knight of pentacles dr p was close l page of wands helby's page of wands Karina, Six of Wands. There you go. Well, there you go, guys. Okay, give me one sec to fin uh, update this for. So, Gratitude, Jasmine, and Samantha. Wow. Gratitude, Jasmine, and Samantha. So, Samantha is on... So, Jazz is on the board with one. Gratitude's down here. So check it out, guys. So I'm going to save this. I have to write it down. And I'll tell you guys in a sec. And I'll tell you what the monthly score is. It's pretty It's doing pretty good. Hey, Sakashi. Does Kudin still love you? Probably. Unless he makes a lot of money, he probably still loves you. But if he makes a lot of money, I'd say he's gone. So, Jan 9th. I'm third, January 3rd. So we have, so we have chaos. I'm going to say gratitude though. We have gratitude. We have Jasmine. And we have Samantha. Here's the score, guys. And then, and then we're going to, we're going to look at Nikki's cards in a sec. Here's the score, guys. So far for the month. This is really, here we go, with one point, I guess I'll read it from here. For with one point, we have, this is fun, I like the card game. So, with one point, we have Wing One, Ginger, and Jasmine, with Jasmine and Chaos, or Gratitude. So, Gratitude, Jazz, and Ginger and Wing One all have one point. And the other guys, we have the guys with two points so far are Sunny and 
Samantha V. So there you go, guys. We are definitely cruising along in this thing. Holy smoke, Olas. All right, next. Nikki's up, and then we have some charts we have to read. Let's read Nikki's cards. The 101 timestamp in the description box. Let's do it. Yoshi got the last card, the Knight of Wands. Hold on a sec. Yoshi has... Oh, son of a bitch. All right, Yoshi, you got it. I did I don't have picks for Yoshi, but I I saw I saw Yoshi make picks. I did. Okay. Oh, you got it, Yosh. I didn't see you in the description box. I apologize. Well, Yosh is on the list with one. There you go. I saw you make your picks, but I didn't I obviously didn't write them down. Okay, nice. Yeah, Yosh, right on. Okay, so here we go. Yosh, good job. Whitney, that sounds like a great idea. Sweet dreams, Jazz. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. We have um, Yoshi. <laughs> All right, let's get down to it. Okay. Good job, guys. Holy moly, three people. Like, three of you guys scored up. Did very well tonight. Wow. You see, it's keep going, you know, keep going. You know, hot. You guys get hot. You guys get cold. You guys can be hot for a couple, like, a couple of months. You can be really hot. You know, you can get hot, you know, get cold for a while. You know, you feel it, you don't feel it. You, you might get it even though you don't feel it. You might feel it and not get them. You know, just sort it all out. You know, just keep going. It's a lot of fun. It's I'm having fun. <laughs> Anyways. All right, next. Okay, let me shuffle up the cards. Let me put them away and shuffle up. So, good job, everyone. Like, really good job. All right, next. So, let's... Clean the cards up, shuffle up the cards, and then we'll move on. So we're going to have a tarot reading for Nikki. Oh, oh, oh. Then we'll, we'll uh, get down to the charts. Aaliyah is going to be up, and then we're going to get... Oh, and then <laughs> I have to do Dope's chart. I have to enter it in. We'll do it after this reading. I have Andrew Tate here uh, because I was thinking I was going to look at that Andrew Tate guys for you guys, but we're not going to have that time tonight. You have to serve dessert. What? <laughs> All right, Al, be cool. <laughs> Stay out of trouble. All right, here we go. I do, Sabeth. Me too, Sabeth. It's kind of it's fun. All right, Nikki's up. I guess I'm not going to need that computer. <laughs> Slide it over a little bit. Let me see what the messages were. Hold on, my phone was pinging away like crazy, right? SLC probably wanted something. What time is it? Oh, that's 10 minutes ago? Ha ha ha. SLC is watching us on her phone. Okay, whatever. Let's get down to it. All right, sweet dream, guys. Okay, here we go. Nikki's up. Let's get down to it. First up. <sighs> Timestamps in the description box. First up. Here you go, Nikki. Wow, Nikki, the fool card. So this is, but it's fool cards reversed. Reversed fool card. So. But also, but Mercury is also retrograde, so let's not stress it out. Uh, so the Fool card is about new beginnings, right? It's about new beginnings, getting out there, doing your thing. But you know, Mercury's retrograde, so it's so the Fool card. Hey, where the hell did it go? The Fool card really is kind of reversed right now, so uh, so it's probably not the best time to start something. Or you're probably not prepared uh, for some kind of new beginning right now. Uh, does it mean it's not going to happen? Not at all. It means that uh, you personally are probably going to are going through some new beginning that you have to sort out, and and that's all it is, right? The fool card reverse. Take it easy, you know. 
watch out, you know, you're trying to try something new might not work, you know, no big deal. And oh, now it's becoming a big deal. <laughs> so now we have the seven of swords reversed. So someone might be saying bad things about you, right? Seven of swords reversed. You might have, there might be, and, and you might not know. All right. So one sec. So seven of swords reversed. Someone really, so this is starting to, to look like someone is saying some bad things about you. Someone might be stealing some ideas. Um, and like the full cards reverse. So you might have jumped into something or you began something a little prematurely. And, you know, this is betrayal, deception, you know, uh, someone acting strangely and trickery. So, you know, and it's reversed. So, you know, you're probably finding out that someone was trying to treat everybody like a fool, right? They were trying to sneak around and, uh, you know, the, or, you know, you were going to start something with someone and it didn't really work out. Like, does it mean, does it necessarily mean that someone was really doing something negative towards you? Well, you know, like, you know, in a world when we talk like that, a tarot reader, as tarot readers, we talk like that. Oh, something, guy's going to do something behind your back. And oftentimes they do. <laughs> so, however, it could be a situation as simple as like someone forgets to pay a bill or someone doesn't do something or they don't lock the door so you know just got to be cool with everything to get all you know but at the same time it's like a new beginning didn't work properly <laughs> and then the stuff someone's talking nonsense about you then we have the hangman and this card's about you know letting it happen right things it's trusting your intuition and letting things happen so it things may not be as they appear they're probably not as they appear this card is right side up so check this out so so far we have the fool right we have a situation where uh, and it's reversed right so a new beginning is not really working properly and then the seven swords someone's not doing their job but the hangman says you know if you trust your intuition uh, and, and you just let the process work itself out you're going to be okay that's the deal. So if things aren't working out, like if you can't figure all this out, like if someone did something, you know, like they left the door open kind of thing and you, you'll figure it out. Like right? this whole thing will be figured out. You just have to watch out for it. And then, then we have the King of Pentacles reversed. So somewhere along the line, money is not coming back to you or you're going to have an expense or a bill coming up or you're going to have to pay for someone or some money that you were expecting might not come right away. It might be delayed. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're all here. I'm going to continue my readings anyways. Okay, here we go. Okay, good. <laughs> We're glitching. I'm back. Fudge. Oh, mother Mercury fucking retrograde. <laughs> okay, here we go. So. <laughs> okay, so here we go. What else do we need to? So my 11-11 wish. Well, I'm, you know, I want Mama Sunshine to be better. And then that's about it. <laughs> so maybe be able to afford insurance for the car would be nice. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> so maybe Christmas presents, <laughs> like whatever. But uh, no, every, you know, it is just to grow the channel. My only real wish, 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 my selfish wish is to grow the channel. And that's it. But I want to grow it in a particular way. And so that's why I'm reluctant to do a lot of things. A lot of the advice that, uh, and ideas that you guys give me, I don't, I'm, cause I'm trying to grow it in the channel in this particular way. So I, I do and I don't do it. All right, next, next. Oh no, Hellbeast has got the monkey and the wrench. <laughs> oh no, Hellbeast is looking for a good time. Hellbeast, those are Friday night emojis. What are you doing? It's only Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> what are you doing? It's okay. okay, next, next. Okay, Nikki's back, back up with Nikki. And then we're going to get down to our readings. So here we go. So in Nikki's reading here, there's a thing happening over here where the beginning is not working out so well. This, uh, then we have the, so, you know, someone saying something or doing something negative behind the scenes. Right, it's not working out. Paperwork is getting lost. Someone didn't do the paperwork, kind of thing. And then, uh, and it's not work. And 
Okay, and then we have the King of Pentacles. She's probably going to end up having to pay for everything. Over here, we have the Hangman. And so she's going to have to, like, trust the process. Uh, even though, uh, you know, you don't really want to trust the process. But, like, it's not... You're going to have to trust your intuition. Forget process. Intuition. And then we have... What? Beast? What the hell? <laughs> Gorilla? Okay. Next. Oh, Nikki. So here we go. Then we have the double card reversed. Oh, no. So Nikki. So someone's, someone's screwing around. Look at this. This might be... um. So we have the devil card reversed. Right? Someone's goofing around. So... Or there's going to be, you know, maybe a little sexy fun time involved in the situation. But the king of pentacles is reversed. And the devil card is reversed. So something... like, And the devil card is having a good time. It's, uh, but it's reversed. So you're either not having that good time or someone is going to be blaming you for uh not you know someone's goofing off like the double card is goofing off and just you know having fun so we have right here you know there's goofing off and there's having to pay for everything so be careful right so be careful all right next and finally so that's the deal finally so watch out you're gonna you're probably gonna have to pay for the pay for it and um it be, the devil's reversed, so it might not even be as fun as you hope. <laughs> it's all like, it's all, like, all right, here we go. And finally, ba -ba -da, the seven of pentacles reversed. This so Nikki, this reading is a money reading, right? Seven of pentacles, it's money. It's spending money you don't have yet. It's uh, it means with the seven of pentacles, it means letting your money grow. L you know, letting your money grow, not harvesting it. Uh, the crop, so to speak, before it's time, right? Long-term view, hard work, perseverance, diligence, you know, keeping it going. And so, but this card is reversed. So it looks as if someone, someone is going to have to dig into their savings. So that's the deal, Nikki. I hope it all works out. <laughs> so I hope everything is cool. It is going to be okay. <laughs> it is. We're not all of us, but some of us, are gonna we're gonna bounce back soon like we're going through like you guys remember when gabrielle was going through her saturn transit <laughs> her saturn return and because of the nature of where the saturn return happened it was it she was going through her saturn return for a long time <laughs> like she approached it approaching it the shadow and then it went retrograde and it came back like uh, out of the shadow thing, the whole thing. All right. Like, you know, she went through it forever. So some of us, like some of the Scorpios and some of the Tauruses right now are going through a similar kind of thing. And it's just going on forever. <laughs> and so like, we'll be out of it soon. Okay, But it's not, we're not like. And it's not going to dwindle or wane or fade. It's going to get worse. Okay, guys? I'm warning everyone. It's going to get worse, right? Saturn's not retrograde. Okay. You know, Mar you know, you know, Pluto's not retrograde. You know, Jupiter's not retrograde. So what's the problem, Sonny? Oh, my God. It's going to get worse, right? Things are picking up speed. And so, oh, my God. Planets are getting fast. It's going to fall. So, like. But it's okay. We're going to be okay. And then we're going to like laugh at everybody else when it happens to them. <laughs> so like, all right, next. Oh, wow. Nikki, Scorpio Risings. Holy smokes. It definitely applies to Scorpio Risings. Absolutely. 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 Your identity is under attack. Wow. Your identity is under the attack. You might have headaches. You know, your hair might fall out a little bit. There's going to, it's tough. Very difficult publicly for Scorpio Risings. Very, very difficult. But, you know, uh, problems at home for Scorpio Risings. You know, it's going to take away things at home. Pipes burst. It gets really cold, right? Saturn's cold, dry. You know, so that's what's going on. <laughs> so that's what's good. That's what's going on with uh, Scorpio Risings. Sweet dreams, Ginger. Have a wonderful night. All right, guys. Next. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna we're we're gonna we're not out of it yet. I, I want to say because all of that stuff started to move forward, right? So as everything was moving forward, I want to say, oh, we're out of it. We're out of it. 
I was like, we're not. <laughs> we're not. We're not. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. Oh my God. It's going to get worse. The pain is not going to stop. Oh my God. The other shoe is head. The other shoe is going to hurt, man. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh man. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Oh my God. It's going to hurt so much. Okay. Everybody stop. I don't know what you're whining and complaining about. Um, is it free to ask a question? In the United States, it is. I'm not in the United States right now. <laughs> oh, man. Scorpio Mars. Oh, my God. Scorpio Mars. Yeah. Not Scorpio everything. Scorpio Mars is going to have a problem. My Scorpio Venus. Scorpio Venus is going to have a lot of problems. Uh, in the last year, 2022, Scorpio Venus... They were getting they were getting bankrupt. Scorpio Venus Taurus Venus were going bankrupt and breaking up in relationships. Scorpio Venus Taurus Venus breaking up in relationships and losing a lot of money last year. They're still gonna do it. Still have problems with Scorpio Venus. Scorpio Mars, they're gonna be violent, right? They're gonna have very negative things. If you have a Scorpio Mars, strong possibility of um uh, J like if you have Scorpio or a Taurus Mars, uh, possibility of jail time in the last year. Or Scorpio, Taurus, Mars, um, strong possibility of violence. All right, so you got to watch out for that kind of stuff. All right, let's get down to it. All right, so here we go. Next, <laughs> so next. Aliyah is up, but before we do Aliyah, I have to set up a chart. Give me one second, guys. I'm just going to set up Dope's chart here. Dope, Soul, Playa, May 12th, 1990. That is a good 10.06 10 a.m. 10.06 a.m. in N E W A R K. New Jersey. All right, play. Uh, here we go. Dope soul. Here we go. Oh, this is a heavy duty chart, too, man. Okay, let me just save it. All right, Aliyah is up. Everybody ready? Aliyah is up. Here we go. Timestamp. Okay, so Leah asked me some questions yesterday with regards to her reading. Normally, we don't, I just read the charts for you guys, like, because we're live here, right? Questions, like, whatever. If you want to ask questions, go ahead. But, like, there's a time limit on the readings, right? So, it's, we don't, like, you know, sometimes I just go all, you know, I go all night. But other times, it's, there's a time limit here. But, so, but with Aaliyah, she wants to know, and there's a time stamp again. And Aaliyah has, so she wants to know right off the bat is it bad to uh start a um, here you know what we'll make a video out of this hey guys welcome back to the sunny side i'm sunny today we're going to look at a chart of a sunny sider her name is leah and she has a you know she has a, a simple question she has a couple of simple questions and in addition to the simple question stuff oh sweet dreams guys i hope you guys have a super amazing night i'll see you guys again sweet dreams nikki okay of this video is shot live. So this is some of the stuff we do at nighttime on the nighttime show here on the sunny side. Anyways, so Aaliyah has a question. Hey, Mama Sita, what's up? I hope you're having an amazing day. Yeah, the list is open. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. So Aaliyah is asking me, um, she's saying she has two random questions. It's okay. Is She wants to say, she says, is it bad to start a legal case in Mercury retrograde, okay, and is it bad to conceive in Mercury retrograde? You guys, got that? That's what she's asking me. Is it bad to start a legal case in Mercury retrograde, and is it bad to conceive uh, during Mercury retrograde? All right. So first, but I'm going to pull her chart up in a sec. But before, uh, her chart's right here. But if I pull it up, she's a, an interesting chart. You guys can go, whoa. <laughs> so, so I'll pull it up in a sec. So what's happening is the, um, as far as having kids giving birth during Mercury retrograde, huh, well, you know, 
it's not the greatest. <laughs> it's you know, it's not the greatest. But what are you gonna do? Like, there are so many people who are born with Mercury retrograde, and it kind of like to answer the question. Are you going to have a complicated birth under Mercury retrograde? You might. You might have a very complicated birth under Mercury retrograde. Uh, it might be difficult. Mercury retrograde doesn't, like Mercury retrograde doesn't necessarily symbolize a lot of blood, let's say, one of those kind of situations. It doesn't necessarily uh, indicate that anything is going to die uh, or that anything is going to really, you know, but it does indicate that there are going to be that under mercury retrograde there will be problems and you know like communication problem idea problems leaving things in the wrong spot problems like dropping things problems like it's going to be little accidents are going to happen and it, so that's what it is uh is it the worst in the world not really that's my two cents on that um now moving forward if the kid is born under Mercury retrograde, the kid is going to have some Mercury retrograde things going on with the kid. And you are going to have what I would call a Mercury retrograde relationship with your kid. And so that's kind of the deal. So it's going to be a major marking point for that. So heads up, some of the problems um, with a person born under Mercury retrograde could be like communication problems. They could be dyslexic. Uh, you know, it, Mercury retrograde at certain places can lead to suicidal thoughts, depending on how it interacts with planet things like the moon. Um, you know, you get weird ideas, communication problems kind of thing. Uh, okay, so that's the Mercury thing. Uh, that's the um, giving birth. You know, it might, it'll cause, it does cause some problems. Uh, delays, right? Delays, right? Mercury retrograde, going to the wrong place, pain. You might suddenly find out there are twins or something. Like, Mercury's retrograde. The next question, is it bad to start a legal case under Mercury retrograde? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Now, here's the thing. I misread this last night when, it, when we were live. Uh, I was saying, um, I thought she meant, is it a good time to like start a company, <laughs> right? Uh, like to start a business under Mercury retrograde. I misread that. And no, it's not a good time. It's really not good to start a business business under mercury retrograde you're gonna it's gonna be communication problems with that business miss ideas they're gonna say you know what like a mercury retrograde company is company that you're like you think it does one thing and you go inside and they do something completely different like walmart like you walk inside it's not a store of walls there's like no walls it's like aisles they should call it aisle mart <laughs> you know like that you know but i'm just joking but it's a kind of weird thing that might happen under the Mercury retrograde. So I'll watch out for that. Communication problems. So, you know, the deal like that. So forget that. The next thing, is it a bad idea to start a legal case under Mercury retrograde? Whoa. So that's the thing. Right now we're doing the Idaho 4 murder thing. And they arrested that guy under Mercury retrograde. So they were searching him under the shadow they arrested him under Mercury retrograde. And when Mercury goes forward, I think he's going to walk. <laughs> so, so not to say that he did do it or he didn't do it. There have been ideas from all the way from like stalking, <laughs> all the way from like stalking jilted lover, all the way to say to, to, I was going to say satanic ritual, but we, you know, we know the real deal. Like, a Hillary Clinton style ritual <laughs> like so you know it was going around like that so so that's the deal guys so that's you know there are a lot of weird ideas going around so we don't really know but so the mercury retrograde thing might very questions no they don't it's not a good time to I know it's frozen I'm gonna have to do these things I'm gonna have to do I might have to do that dope souls chart tomorrow I might leave Aaliyah and do it a sep. I'll just make a video for her. But no, we'll switch. No, I'll, we will. Fi let me finish. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. So, so that's the deal. So it, it's not a good time to start a legal thing at all. <laughs> like not at all. Not at all. Especially communicate. It's in gem. Like Mercury's not in Gemini, right? Like Mercury is retrograde right now in um 
in Capricorn, right? So, eh, <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? But Mars is retrograde in Gemini, and Mars is violence right now. All right, one sec. Ha ha ha, Karina says she almost got a puppy during Mercury retrograde. <laughs> it isn't like signing a contract, but you don't need a puppy right now. Can you imagine? <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> uh, like seriously, <laughs> like seriously, right? It's a, oh my goodness. All right, next, next. Yeah. All right, next, 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 next. All right, next. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. So that's the deal. So that's that. All right, now let's take a moment and read her chart properly. So those are the two questions. Uh, kids under Mercury retrograde, it's okay. Not the greatest. There'll be problems. It's okay, right? It, you'd have to have problems in your chart for that to really affect your birth. But for a legal case under Mercury retrograde, I think that's a really bad idea. I think there's a strong possibility that it's not going to work out in your favor if you do it under Mercury retrograde. That's my two cents on that uh, for Aaliyah. All right, Aaliyah, let's do Aaliyah's charts. Here we go. <laughs> Wing one. Oh, man. I so As we're doing Aaliyah's chart here, I'll pull it up. The um, I want to get a little puppy. But you see, they say we can't have a dog while Mama Sunshine's on chemotherapy. So... But I want to get a little puppy and just to hang out. This is Aaliyah. Okay, so we're going to... And let's start her mini astrology reading right now. Let's get down to it. We're glitching a little bit. I know that. Uh, I'm probably going to have to do this Aaliyah's reading again. Okay, here we go. Aaliyah's up. What are you guys talking about? Saturn and Aquarius. That's all right. It depends on what house it's in. Saturn and Aquarius is okay. Here we go. Next. So Aaliyah is February 26th, 1997. Aaliyah, February 26th, 1997 at 6 p.m. in Glendale, California. Everybody cool? Oh, the fudge. <laughs> okay, there's Aaliyah. Now, this chart, I'm going to show you something really intense in this chart. She has... All of her planets, on the, like, she doesn't. She doesn't. Her Saturn is actually on the outside. And it's legitimately on the outside. This is a separating aspect. Saturn's moving in that direction, and the south node is moving in that direction. That's a separating aspect. Saturn has broken free of the nodes, and it's, it's gone. It's not coming back. But <clears throat> normally, which doesn't happen all that time, which doesn't happen all that often because remember it looks like oh my god sunny what the hell oh whatever right like that never like whoa, whoa. But just keep in mind this doesn't happen all the time because the moon travels very quickly and the moon can be here and if the moon is here it's a different story so just a heads up on that or the sun you know the sun is going to cross in a couple of days so like it doesn't necessarily stay stay like this so it is a it's kind of rare now, what happens is people who have all of these planets down here within the bounds of the nodes, these guys tend to have a special destiny for them. No, I didn't know Ali what Aaliyah's chart looked like last night uh, or, or anything. Uh, I was just lucky that she, you know, she saw I was tired and said, Sonny, maybe you can do it tomorrow. You know, I get it, which was really nice of her. And so that's why we're doing it here. Uh, plus, her questions, I thought, were very good for everybody. And they are. Now, as it turns out, she has a very special chart here. Um, so she has a very real destiny in her life. There is also a possibility she's going to be very successful. Uh, so, Aaliyah, you can be very successful. You should absolutely go for it. Now, here's where things get a little bit negative And... Oh, right on. Okay, so here we go. So here's where things get a little bit negative. So watch out for it. Mars. Okay, so let's let's get into our reading here. So Aaliyah's a Pisces, right? Like, she's a Pisces. She's not a super Pisces, 
She's just a Pisces. You know, art, she's probably artsy fartsy. She probably sings. She probably plays music. You know, she probably she's probably very, very, very psychic, right? Her son is almost conjunct right here, right? It's like like she's <laughs> like clearly, but there's more to this chart than just being psychic or being intuitive or um, you know, being you know, you know, Lilith is the opposite her Mercury, so she might repress her sex appeal a little bit. But I'll tell you all about that in a sec. So she's a Pisces. She's a healing force in this world. It's in the sixth house. It's right on the cusp. Sixth and seventh house. But she's like, it's a sixth house kind of vibe. In addition to that, Venus is in the sixth house and Mercury is in the sixth house. They're essentially conjunct there. She's a very, she's probably a workaholic. Although it's Venus is there. <coughs> Excuse me. And Venus can make people lazy in the sixth house. It can also give you a lot of free time. So, but at the same time, I know I said workaholic and lazy. I'm just saying. <laughs> so she's going to have a lot of free time. So she, to do with it, it tends to be someone who wants to plan their days out and then go at it like that. Hey, Dr. P, what's up? I hope you're having an amazing, amazing day. All right, here we go. Next, let's get back to it. So this, so before I move on from this, just to say, there's this possibility she's going to end up in relationships with people that she works with or that she's, you know, she might start a business with someone she works with or date people she works with or people she sees every day. She wants very much to be with the people she sees every day or get into relationships with people she sees every day as opposed to like a long-term, really long-distance relationship or something. Um, she is 100% a friend's first kind of person, right? She wants to get to know the person first. Uh, like, I don't know how we ended up talking about her love life. There's other stuff that's more important, but I'll just tell you about Aaliyah's love life. You know, her Lilith, her sexuality is in the 12th house. So it's a little bit repressed a little, you know, so her sexuality is a little bit repressed. Maybe she had to watch out for guys who stalk her. Aaliyah might have to watch out for guys who stalk her. She might have to watch out for pervs. She might have to watch out for, um, you know, sexual abuse behind the scenes. Some kind of hidden sexual abuse. Some kind of hidden sexuality. Aaliyah might have a hidden sex life that no one knows about. Which is okay, whatever. <laughs> so that's the deal. And it's probably quite dramatic and playful. It's in Leo. Here we go. Having said all of that, she is a Virgo rising. So you're never going to know. <laughs> it's so funny. She's a Pisces. She's a Virgo rising. So all that hidden sex life stuff I'm just talking about, you will never, ever, ever know about Leah. There's no way. All right, now let's get down to it. So she has the North Node in the first house with Mars. But Mars is absolutely retrograde. So I know it's cute, isn't it? Okay, so Mars is absolutely retrograde in this chart. So, uh, so you know, her actions are a little bit messed up at times. She might become overzealous. Now, her Mars is in Libra. And Libra wants, you know, Libra, so Mars in Libra is someone who wants to debate everything. They can be argumentative. Mars in Libra can be argumentative. They want to debate everything. They want to be like you. It's, it's a weird kind of vibe, but it's okay. You know, it's okay. She's very strong, very, very strong team player kind of vibe. Very much plays devil advocate. Maybe Ali is going to be a lawyer someday. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if she's a social, um, a human rights lawyer. I, you know, her Venus is over here in the sixth house in Aquarius, right? Human rights, and her Mars is in Libra, which is law. So, like, she could easily be a human rights lawyer. But this Virgo rising indicates she probably works out every day. Like, she might be a health buff, a health buff and a detail freak, but um, she's probably clean freak too. But the she could easily, um be a really good lawyer really really good lawyer all right what else so here we go here's some stuff that you have to watch out for her mars <clears throat> is conjunct her north node in the first house man so this is violence period she is probably she could Aaliyah can be violent or she can be around violence or she can come across as violent or she might be very argumentative she's probably very very opinionated Right, it blows up all the negative. The North Node is going to blow up a lot of the negative stuff about Mars in the first house. 
There's also a weird possibility she might be a little bit of a tomboy, let's say. Because <laughs> like, I don't think she's a tomboy. But the Mars in the first house is going to make her very aggressive. Right? She's going to be aggressive. She's going to probably suffer from headaches, nosebleeds. You know, she'll have a bump on her face. She might have a mole on her face, like right here. She might have a mole, like a big thing on her lower back, like a scar or something. Or she'll get a tattoo down there or something. So that's the deal. Watch out for it. Watch out for violence. Watch out for being attacked. There's also a strong possibility of people always blaming her for something. In addition to that, I don't want to scare anybody. I, I'm, or be, you know, but this kind of thing, that that actually can lead to jail time, right? It's opposite, right? It's uh, these rays, like man, this could lead to jail time. So, Leo, watch out. You might freak out and end up in jail. So, because you argumentative, violent, end up in jail. Watch out for all of it. All right, next. The moon is in the second house. So you will make money. Hey, Aliyah. Hey, you're right there. Hey, it's great to see you. Hey, let me pause all of this. Hey, hey, it's great to see you. Hey, this is a hell of a chart. <laughs> so just to answer your questions, the, you know, so you might end up having a whole bunch of kids. Okay. Your Jupiter is right there. And like you're, you should be, you should be super duper romantic. Like every guy on the planet should be after you. Like everyone, all the guys should be after you. And the girls, right? You might uh, have same sex relationships here as well. The guys and the girls will always be after you. You should be ridiculously creative. In addition to that, what you because you have the question about the pregnancy and the Mercury retrograde, you might end up having a lot of kids in this lifetime if you, you want, right? Uh, but you might end up having a lot of kids and you might end up, uh, you have to watch out for accidental pregnancies and you have to watch out for miscarriages. Miscarriages and accidental pregnancies are like right in the center of your chart. So, and it's a big deal. Jupiter is right here. But at the same time, Aaliyah, you should be super creative, like super creative. And like the entertainment industry might call you, you know, you might do something like that. You should be so... It's a really cool, you could be very popular if you want, but so that's the deal. Having kids under Mercury retrograde is okay. Because I mean, every, you know, what are you going to do? But the, um, it's not the greatest. You could get sick, right? Watch out for it. And Mercury's retrograde right here, right? It's in Capricorn, right where your kids are. So Mercury, where your kids would be. So I would watch out for that. This particular Mercury retrograde with regards to having kids, um, because again, it's right here in the chart. But as far as, so that's that. The next thing. Yeah, I know. That's what I know. That was, I, I yeah, I figured that was your question, right? What's going to happen to you uh, conceiving under the retrograde? So I'm going to, but I'm going to warn you, your chart has miscarriage in your chart. So, uh, it, but it doesn't only have miscarriage. It has unusual situations. So like you might have um, like the baby might come out early or it might come something screwy might happen. The kids should be fine, but watch out for miscarriage. Watch out for screwy stuff. Watch out for just watch. You have to be extra careful when you get pregnant, according to this chart. As far as Mercury retrograde is concerned, this particular Mercury retrograde is not good for kids for your particular chart. Certain certain ones will be OK. Certain ones not so OK. This one is a little tricky if you, but so the you know communication problems. Health, you might have health problem. You might have a health problem situation. Uh, I would just well, I would just be careful. In addition to where's the Mars is going to be at the top of the chart. We'll do the Mars thing in a sec. Okay, so that's the thing. So the Mercury retrograde. It's not the it's not the greatest time to. Okay, so let me get this back. It's not it's not the greatest time to. Uh, give birth under Mercury retrograde. There, there, are, there will be complications. So, um, there, there will be. <laughs> there will be. Uh, as far as starting a legal case under Mercury retrograde, oh my God, it's like the worst possible thing. I don't know why the, that I, Idaho thing, why they started arrested him under Mercury retrograde, why they didn't just get him early. Well, they get him when they get him, right? But I saw that and I'm like, Holy smokes, there's going to be some kind of sketchy thing happening there. Seriously. 
All right, next, let's get back in here. So we haven't done her entire chart yet. So just settling into it. So money should all, it's going to be hot, cold, right? Because the moon is in the second house of money. It's going to be money sometimes, not money sometimes, but you, sh you should be okay with money. But there's a thing here. Chiron is here as well. And Chiron is going to make it like um, people are going to forget to pay you at times, or they're not going to pay you what you're, how much you really made, or they're going to get the name wrong on the check. So something is always going to be a problem with your money. So absolutely do your absolute best to like make sure you get paid. Holy crap, your Venus is, makes a trine to your moon. Oh, wow. And your Chiron. Yeah, you're going to be carrying a wound around here, right? So watch out. You should actually make quite a bit of money in your lifetime. You should be very successful. Yeah, but this chart is a chart that should be very successful. What's that? Yes. <clears throat> so you so you should do it. You should start gathering stuff for the legal case, definitely. And you should go start seeing lawyers. Uh, but if I were you, I wouldn't hire the lawyer or give the lawyer any money until Mercury goes direct around the 20th of January. That's what I, I really think. Uh, definitely do the research. Definitely gather documents. Definitely go for free consultations, you know, and think it through, think it through, think it through. But don't pay the lawyer until Mercury is direct because what might happen is you might change your mind during the situation. So it's not necessarily that you're going to lose. Just like this Idaho guy, it's not necessarily that he's going to go free. It's that along the way, you might change your mind. So you might want to sue somebody for something, and then you might realize you might be able to sue them for something else instead. So that's what it means. So, so that's how I would work through it. And just keep in mind, there'll be some growing pains. Like here on the sunny side, last night I tried a call-in show, you know, where people phone in and stuff. It doesn't always work. But you know, trying it out under Mercury retrograde. Okay, that's my two cents on that. All right. So that's my two cents on that. Very, I, That's what I mean sincerely. Okay, next. So driving, right? Watch your driving, right? Watch your driving. <laughs> oh my God, watch your driving. All right, next, maybe fighting with brothers and sisters, right? Watch your driving, fighting with brothers and sisters. You should be super duper, super romantic for real. Um, you should have a bunch of kids. Just watch out. There's, I do see accidental pregnancy and miscarriage in your chart. I do. We'll look at your transits in a sec. You probably, you should probably end up making your money uh, either in, you know, taking care of other people somehow. But at the same time, in the health industry, maybe you work in the health industry. Maybe you, you're, maybe you're a doctor. Who's <laughs> like, well, you're not a doctor. You're only, yeah. Well, maybe you're a doctor. You know, you're too young to be a doctor. <laughs> so like, but um. Anyways, that's what's going on. You make your money, maybe in the health industry, maybe taking care of other people. Up here, there are going to be problems in relationships. There's always going to be a little bit of a problem in relationships. Maybe you're going to end up, you might end up getting divorced. You know what they say about Saturn in your seventh house, right? You get married later in life or you marry someone older than you or, but whatever. It doesn't necessarily mean that. But Saturn near the south node is going to cause problems. You're going to cause, you're going to have problems. You are going to have problems in relationships, you know? So like the whole marriage thing is going to give you a little bit of, of fits. But when you do get married, you're probably going to stick around for a while. All right, next, let's put the, um, let's put the transits up and check it out. I would recommend you do it. I would recommend you go for it. Uh, but you're going to change your mind along the way. So there's that's that's the the big concern about it. <laughs> All right, next, not next. So this is your these are your transits. This is what's going on. Oh, 
Okay, so you see down here, right down here, this is happening in the kids. Okay, down in the land of kids, this Mercury is retrograde down, down in the land of kids. So right now, there might be a little bit of problems with kids. In addition to this, Pluto at 27 degrees moving in that direction is about to be conjunct with Neptune. So a big change is happening with your kids. You know what, Aaliyah? I don't want to say anything negative or bad because I, I think I, I really do want you to have everything cool. The um, Just be careful. You know, be careful. It might be... It's, Pluto usually indicates a really good thing is going to happen after a really bad thing is going to happen. I'm not being new agey about this. I'm not saying, oh, you had to lose that to get this. Oh, I'm not saying that at all. At all. I'm just saying something, you know there might be a problem that's going to lead to something really good. So whatever happens, do it, right? Whatever anything happens, just do it, go with it, and you'll find out that it'll work. But keep trying, don't give up. Whatever happens, whatever happens to you under this Mercury retrograde in pregnancy, don't give up. All right, next. And I'm not making anything up. I'm not saying blah, 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 right? We have it right there. Pluto is right there. <laughs> But in addition to that, in addition to that, Venus is down here as well. And in the next uh, week and a half, right, in the next week and a half, right here, Venus, right, during this Mercury retrograde, Venus is, is going to be conjunct your Uranus and your Jupiter. So, like, very, very good things are should be happening. So, you know, very good things should be happening to you and the kids. I do think everything is going to work out. So... Just be careful. All right, so that's the kids. All right, your health, you know, watch your health, watch your health, watch your health. Um, you're going to find, like, you're going to find something tricky is going to happen. Saturn is going to come across, and it's going to conjunct these guys right here. And it's, but it doesn't mean things are going to be taken, it's not going to be negative. Negative is over here. Like, if it was over here or over here, that would be very negative, but it's not. It's a conjunction. So all it tends to really mean is you have to watch your health. So, um, so Aaliyah, in the next, you know, while Mercury's retrograde, while Saturn is still in, you know, while Saturn is still over here in Aquarius, just watch your health. Straight up, watch your health. Seriously. All right, next. So there you go. So there you go. It is, this is a time for kids. Watch out for Mercury retrograde. It, if you, okay, so Aaliyah, if you, were to start a legal battle right, you know, this year, this is a good time for you to start a legal thing. I would wait for Mercury to go direct, though, seriously, but like, like very seriously. But like, um, Jupiter is is here. Like, Jupiter, this is it. This is legal battles right here. This is Jupiter and Neptune. You know, you have Saturn right here. This chart says you have legal stuff. You're going to have legal problems in your lifetime. So like. You know, you're going to be argumentative, like, you're, you know, you argument and you're going to have legal. This is a good time to do it. Like, I would recommend you do it. Just be sensitive to the Mercury retrograde. In addition to that, Mars is at the very top of your chart, causing problems publicly. You might be fighting with people at a distance, right? Because this ninth house thing might be fighting with people at a distance. You might be traveling or wanting to travel uh, for meet people. Or you might be fighting with authority figures very publicly. There's also a possibility that you're, you know, you're pregnant. So you're not going anywhere. But like fighting with people at a distance and fighting with authority figures right here. And that's the deal. You're going to be out of this stuff shortly. By June 20th, for you, specifically for you, by June 20th, everything is going to feel a lot better. And it's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think you're going to be okay. Yeah, you're going to be okay. All right, next. Oh, all right, Aaliyah, next. That's your chart. Okay, next. Dope is up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see if anyone else snuck in. Okay, okay. Okay, you're on the list as well. Let me pop you up. K is May 25th, 
Um, I'll tell you in a sec. Okay, I got you right here. Uh, dope is up first, and then I'll put you up. I'm going to put you on the list right now, and then we'll get to it. K is, let me just put your chart up. So, K, I know dope is funny. <laughs> dope is funny. <laughs> K. K is, K is May 25th, 1989. May 25th, 1989. 11.24 p.m. Atlanta. Georgia. All right, there we go. May 25th, 1989, 11.24 p.m. in Atlanta, Georgia. All right, K is there. Let's save your chart. All right, dope is up. They're fun, aren't they? They're really, it's fun. It's a, here we go, dope is up. Dope has an interesting chart too. Oh, dope is gonna have problems with chicks. <laughs> like everybody's gonna want to marry and control this guy. Oh my god, his moon is in the fifth house. Oh my god, this guy likes to party. Dope. <laughs> oh my god, I tell you. I tell you, as I'm I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, man, I've never met this guy. I don't know anything except his birthday, but I want to party with some dope. Yeah, I want to party with dope <laughs> all night long or as long as I stay awake. <laughs> That's what I want. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to party with dope? <laughs> dope brings the good times. Okay, next. Let's put a timestamp in here. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> Uh, hold on. <laughs> next, next. <laughs> oh my god. I love. Okay, here we go. Why wouldn't I want to party with dope? Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, let me put Z in the description. K in the description box. Oh my god. Hey, hey, should we go get dope? Yeah, she's good. Yeah, he's gonna get pissed off if we don't go pick him up. <laughs> Silly, we don't get him. Yo, we gotta go get dope. I know. <laughs> I, know. I know. Okay, everybody calm down. <laughs> they went recreational. I like going to the gym. <laughs> okay, here we go. I like to rec I like to recreate. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so okay, here we go. Enough screwing around. I already put the timestamp in. You guys know when Sonny puts a timestamp in, things get serious. All right, calm down. <laughs> My phone is flashing away like a pervert at a little kid's baseball game. <laughs> so, oh. One sec. Let's double check something. Oh, I get it. K is for Christina. <laughs> okay, so I get it. Okay, okay. Aaliyah. Okay, so we looked at Aaliyah's stuff. We looked at... We're going to look at Dope right now, and we're going to look at K. And we read uh, Nikki's cards. All right, back. I'm just checking out the timestamps. Here we go. All right, I figured it out. I figured it out. Oh my god! I said I was psychic. I don't know what's happening now. I know it's gonna happen later. Uh, you're supposed to know everything, Sonny. Why? Because you're psychic. What kind of dumb fucking thing is that to say? It means I know everything is gonna happen tomorrow. I have no fucking idea what you're doing today. You're probably going to do something stupid. <laughs> so. I could have guessed that you'd do something fucking stupid. You don't have to be psychic to know that. <laughs> so, like, you're going to have an asshole fucking moment. <laughs> so, like, really? Probably. Dumbass. <laughs> kind of moment. You don't need to be psychic to know that. Fuck, that's common sense. 
All right, next. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Psychic doesn't mean you know everything. It means you know everything's going to happen tomorrow. All right. Dope says. Okay, so here we go. Okay, Dope is up. Here we go. So Dope is May 12th, 1990, 10.06 a.m. in Newark, New Jersey. All right, here we go. <laughs> so here we go. Dope is up. So Dope is a Taurus. Nice. A nice Taurus, too. A nice, healthy, happy, super cool Taurus. <clears throat> uh he's a Taurus cancer rising. Oh my god, his Chiron is oh no, his Chiron is, is up here. Okay. So Chiron in the twelfth house, not conjunct descended. And so he's a Taurus cancer rising. Wow, like a super nurturing guy. Super nurturing, super loving, loves to take care of people. Oh my god, and his Mars is in Pisces. Oh man, dope is probably dope you might be a musician man look you can you see all this stuff dope's moon is way down here in in the fifth house of being super creative and kids so either he spends all his time masturbating or trying to have kids no i'm just joking uh, this is a strong possibility you're going to end up in the entertainment industry man like very seriously and if you went into the entertainment industry you'd be quite successful as well you do have famous in this chart, like good famous in this chart too. But you have to work it. You have to work it because um, you have to work it. <laughs> so the way it is, actually. Oh my goodness, K one. Those are all good questions. I know. I know. I know. Hold on. K one is saying, "What are all the the people who deliver weed on bikes? Uh, we call them drug dealers." Who are they gonna just say? All those people who deliver weed on bikes, I wiki, I googled it. They're called drug dealers. <laughs> so they're, they got, what are they going to do in New York now that it's all legal? What's legal? Riding your bike or smoking weed? <laughs> so like, it's a, it was illegal to ride. I know, I'm just joking, K1. <laughs> it's okay, I'm bugging you. Okay, here we go. Let's get back to it. Okay, let's get back to it because we have a couple of readings to do and I have to wake up really early in the morning. Okay, so dope could easily be uh, a musician or an artist or work in the entertainment industry. His moon is is in Sagittarius. So that's a guy who wants everyone to have fun. Uh, he's a very straight shooting guy. He's probably very philosophical, right? Like probably writes dope beats, but I don't see writer in the chart, right? I don't really see any Mercury kind of thing. You know, or you know, any Gemini kind of thing, and his Mercury's retrograde, right? So maybe the communication is not always best, right? Maybe Dope had a bit of a learning disability when he was growing up, like maybe a little bit dyslexic. Um, you know, just watch out for that kind of stuff. But let's go back to the. Anyways, let me get back to the chart. So, anyways, the guy's probably quite artsy fartsy. He might very much travel quite a bit of. Like dope, you might travel a lot in this lifetime, man. Very seriously. So there you go. <laughs> so there you go. Travel, 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 travel. You might end up. All right. You might along the way. You might end up getting someone pregnant. Oh my god, this is so insane. You might travel, and get someone pregnant. Right. <laughs> so right. Pluto is down there, and Mars is conjunct. Not conjunct. Mars is uh, trying your Pluto. Um, that's not necessarily violence. That's going to lead towards these big changes in life. Big, powerful, transformational changes. Children are going to be part of that transformational change. So you have to watch out. Dope. Children and, um, you know, sex partners are going to freak you out a little bit. They're going to stress you out a little bit. So you have to watch out. All right, next. So here we go. So right here, south node in the first house is somewhat opposite of the <laughs> k1 the weed isn't in a real drug <laughs> oh my god all right next <laughs> so, <laughs> if it can't if you can't if you can't <laughs> let me move on <laughs> let me move on <laughs> so, so Hey, dope. You know how we said the last couple of things we've been looking at have had the north node 
in the first house. You have the south node in the first house. You have it opposite. So where the other people were big kind of could ex like Aaliyah's chart is a very ego dominated chart. She her chart she's very aggressive. Your chart you put a lot of the energy over here towards your partner. So dope, you are a partner person. Everybody wants to work with you. It's your north node. Everyone wants to work with you. Everyone wants to like be with you. There are times when you're, you know, everybody wants to partner up with you. But at the same time, Saturn's here, right? So it gets a little bit screwy. So on the one hand, the north node indicates everyone wants to party with, like be with you. Uh, but at the same time, the Saturn is there. So you might hold yourself back when it comes to relationships. You might, and relationships, not just dating, like it's dealing with people. So you might hold yourself back a little bit. You might, uh, you might tend to date older women. You might, <clears throat> it's Saturn. So maybe you date ugly women. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> you know, nobody dating any ugly women. No offense to ugly, anybody ugly out there. But like Saturn, you, you might end up getting married later in life. There might be a problem with it. Uh, so just be careful with your relationships, right? It's it's probably not going to stress you out. Like it's Saturn is retrograde. It doesn't really have to stress you out in this lifetime. Pluto is way down here in Scorpio, whatever. It's a generational thing, so I wouldn't overly stress it out. But this is your area of kids and creativity. And your moon is down there in Sagittarius. So you're probably quite a straight shooter. You're probably a lot of fun. I mean, you're Cancer, right? Like, you're not a Cancer. But you're Taurus. But, you know, Cancer rising, Chiron in Cancer, Jupiter in Cancer, behind the scenes. You can be, you know, you could have sweaty eyeballs at times. <laughs> you know, you Cancer, you could take your time, you know, be a little bit lethargic, you know? So, but anyways, kids are going to be a very big deal in your lifetime. Also, creativity, possibly the arts, and possibly teaching. You might end up you might end up teaching as a career. Uh, you could okay. You might end up teaching as a career. Uh, in addition to that, you might end up in politics as well. S apply it all to men. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Go ahead, apply it to men. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. All that stuff applying it to men, you have to watch out for it, right? Your relationship problems. You're gonna have control issues in relationships. So you have to so watch out. Watch out for control issues in your relationships. Right on. Well, then don't worry about kids at all. Well, there you go. Next. You have to watch out. <laughs> you have to watch out. You have to there are gonna be problems. Um you have to you're gonna, you know, like I'm gonna so watch this. So watch. You have this big blue ass triangle right there. And it is, it's a real big blue ass triangle. Sometimes they're really here, sometimes they're not here. In your chart, it's legitimately a big blue ass triangle. And it leads, it stems from, you know, your public career like that at the top of the chart uh, to your identity here, all the way to kids and creativity. So, something about your creative projects or something about the people that you date or something about children are going to bring a lot of visibility to your life. You're going to become very high visibility and quite popular in a very sudden, right? In a very sudden and unexpected way. And so keep your eyes open for that kind of thing very sincerely. All right, next. Mars is in the ninth house. You might spend a lot of time artsy fartsy stuff. There's a strong possibility you might travel a lot. Maybe you end up teaching at university. Over here, you should be super popular. Super, super, super popular. And your Venus is conjunct that midpoint that I put there. So I know this sounds weird, but you really might want to be buying. You might want to buy some lottery tickets in this lifetime, especially happening right now. I'll show this to you in a sec. But Jupiter is transiting right now, right here. And in the next couple of in the next month it's going to transit like you're going to be super popular for real uh you will have the chance to win the lottery for real and you might get a new job or a new boost in popularity or career it hasn't begun yet but it's going to begin 
very soon. It's actually Jupiter is still back here right now. It's right here on this line. But in about a month or so, actually, it's not a month. It's actually going to take about, it's actually not. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go here and then it's going to bounce back. It's going to be here for the next little while. So for the next little while, you probably, it's about studying, it's about school, it's about travel for the next couple of months. And then later on in the year, you're going to, you're going to something very popular. You're going to become very, very popular for the next couple of years. Very popular. So maybe finishing up a school project right now or finishing up some kind of training or some kind of travel thing in the next little while. And then you're going to probably have some big breakthrough in your career. Uh, it's very exciting. It's, it's very, very, very exciting, man. <laughs> so there you go. All right. You should be super duper popular as well. All this stuff is highlighted up here. Maybe there was some sexual. Okay. So there also might be a little bit of sexual abuse in the background growing up. Just watch out for that. You know, not a, maybe not necessarily a big deal. Just watch out. Maybe a little, you know, a little sexual abuse problem in the background. All right. Next, let's pull up your transits and see what's up. Any questions? What the hell is going on with... What did Kay say? Oh. Oh. Half the sunny side is rainbow friendly. I wouldn't say. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yeah. Well, our thing is the rainbow, right? Okay. Here we go. Let me pull this up. So this is what's going on with Dove. Let's see. check it out so what do we have to watch okay so this is the jupe so this is the mars retrograde right here okay that's that's the mars and mercury is right here it's coming back a little bit more oh i'm in front of mercury okay so there you go oh man okay here we go so what's going to happen so what's happening is See, there's nothing really going on right here. So this part of your life is a little bit empty right now. But you're not an but um but dope's not an egomaniac. So like he's not. Uh, he's probably very, very popular, but he's not an egomaniac. He just attracts people wherever he goes. Now, if, if there was one thing you would have to watch out for, I think right now you have to watch your health a little bit. This little Mercury retrograde is going to sneak back and it might cause a little bit of health problems for you. So watch out. Don't stress it out. Don't go crazy. But while Mercury's retrograde, watch your health. This Pluto has already gone past this Saturn. It was it would have caused problems in if you were in any kind of long term relationship or any kind of uh, partnership situation. It, I would imagine it would have ended in the summer or transform somehow in a negative way, meaning maybe your partner or your best friend died. Um, maybe your partner or best friend died in 2022. 2021 to 2022, I would imagine. 21, 2021, I'd imagine your best friend or partner died. All right, but whatever. Neither here nor there. Right now, Saturn is up here. So if, you know, watch your health. Again, watch your health, watch your health, watch your health. And the, um, oh yeah, Taurus can freak, man. <laughs> but like, you're okay. So, but the, um, so joint finances are a little bit tricky right now. So that's not what I wanted to talk about. What I want to do is check your chart to see if there's any stress. So the first stress we want to look for is this, but the Saturn is not, shouldn't be stressing. So, okay. So it is. So right now, so do you guys remember what I was talking about Scorpios and Tauruses and you know what I'm going through and what Jasmine's going through and stuff? This, like Dope is going through it as well. Dope is 20, this Saturn right here, but Dope, you're just about out of every, out of the negative situation. Oh, you're not. Hold on a sec. Oh my God. Dope, you're fucked. You are fucked. So you just you're just coming out of a negative situation right now like 
now. So in the last couple of months, Saturn was squaring your sun. So you would have felt a lot of tension. There would have been money problems, drama with finances. Maybe someone is stealing your money. Um, maybe you were supposed to inherit some money and it didn't happen. Or you had to pay a big legal settlement or some kind of legal money or joint finances really sucked. Or renegotiating a mortgage or your, your roommate screwed you over or something uh, with the money. But money was a thing. Or your credit card is getting maxed out a little bit. Or you didn't get a grant. And it's stressing you out, right? The money over here is stressing out over there. This is also sexuality stuff, right? Like the sex game is a little weird these days, but like, or a little bit slow, right? With Saturn there. But then, so it's squaring your sun, right? The identity thing. In addition to that, you're going through your node square, and that's going to cause a big, big, big change in your life. So you would have had to very sincerely watch your health in a major way. In the last couple of months, you might have got very sick. You know, that's it. You might have become very sick. Highly probable that you changed your job. You know, maybe you changed your job, maybe money. You went through a money change, but you're done. You're on the other side of all of this negative stuff right now. Even Chiron is past Venus. You're you're pa on the other side of this negative run right now. And so your life should get a lot, a lot better as you move forward right now. Like you're past all of the negative stuff. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're not fucked. <laughs> it's like, actually, if you can make it. So here's something really interesting. So all the sunny siders that I've been talking about, you know, who are still going through it, dope is actually finished and he's ready to move on. All right, next. Right now, however, Mars is still retrograde. <laughs> so although you're out of the real bad stuff, Mars is still retrograde. So you're going to... um. You know, you might be fighting with groups of people, uh, you know, once again, fighting with groups of people, fighting socially, maybe fighting in the media, maybe, maybe just fighting with people. And then that's the deal. It is should be a pretty good time for love and romance, actually. It, now it should be <laughs> so good time for romance up here. It looks like it's a good time to study, right? Study, go back to school, get your master's degree or travel. And then you're going to, you know, you're going to focus, you're going to, you know, in the next couple of months, you're going to change your, your career. You've changed your um, identity. You've changed your life in the last little bit. Uh, and now it's time to move forward. I think you're going to be okay. And everything is, I think you're going to be okay. I think it was difficult, but I think you're going to be okay. All right, next. Next, you're going to be okay. All right. It's a rut, right? Yeah, it's Saturn sun thing. It's a rut. And the world like is crapping on you all the time. You're like, why is this guy shitting on me? Why is the world always shitting on me? But that's the sun, you know, the uh, Saturn square thing is just, so that's like, so Saturn square, the sun is why is everybody always shitting on me? But you're also going through your node square, which is time for a change in life. So I think what's going to happen is you're just going to change, man. You're going to, you're not, not going to. I think you've already done it. And it's now, like, if you were going to quit your job, I think you would have already quit your job. If you were going to get sick, you would have already been sick. Uh, if you were going to, like, break up in a relationship, you would have already broken up. And although I do think you still have to be a little vigilant about your, with your health, right? Because, like, Mercury's retrograde there, right? Saturn is there. So, like, you know, you still have to watch your health. I do believe that, um, you know, watch your knees, your back, your teeth. But, like, I I think you're out, you're out of all the, the really negative stuff. And you're, it's time to get on with life. I really do, man. I really do. I do. Your, your chart's pretty cool. And, look, Lilith is in your first house, man. Lilith is transiting your first house. So you should be super sexy right now. So get out there. Be sexy. And go be cool, man. Get out there, be sexy, and go be cool. Don't and yeah, just go be sexy, go be cool. Don't worry about it. All right, next. K is up. No, seriously, dope. I think you're gonna be okay. But I do see that you went through some serious shit. <laughs> that's for sure. When are you born? In 1990, right? Yeah, 1990. 
Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be okay. All right, next. Oh, fucking hell. This is a chart. Look at K's chart, too. Holy jeez. Oh, my God. K. Holy jeez. What do you eat your husbands? K, are you married? Are you... Oh, you're a woman. Did you, did you, did you like eat your last girlfriend? Wait, I didn't mean it like that. I meant like cannibal. What a night to not blame it on booze, right? Okay, I was tell you that <laughs> next, next. Sorry, <laughs> next, next. I need to drink some lemon water. <laughs> that taste. <laughs> All right. Next. Oh my god, it's a good thing that nobody watches these. <laughs> like, 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 it's a little like sex. <laughs> sex. Fuck, demonetized another video. There goes that ad revenue. <laughs> it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> next, next. Let's timestamp what's going on. <clears throat> you guys are gonna have to excuse me Sonny's left the building <laughs> okay next next K is up okay <laughs> that's too funny I got it uh, the, well the joke is yeah that was good I take you I might that was funny okay stop <laughs> Okay. All right. Demonetized another video. Good job, Sonny. Okay. All right. You sure come online a lot, Sonny. Yeah, well, I demonetize a lot of videos. <laughs> so, like, I got hit. What are you talking about? I've got three strikes. <laughs> I can, I can, I can, I can fuck up a little. <laughs> How perfect do you have to be? You got three strikes. Fuck it. <laughs> Next. Oh, my God. Did you guys see that thing fall out of my nose just now, or was it just me? All right, let's get back to work. Let's get back to work. Okay, everybody calm down. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Okay, so first, <laughs> first, first, she, <laughs> K is a, oh, you're, you're Mercury's retrograde. No way. You're Mercury retrograde. Wow, look at that. In Gemini, you're a Gemini born with a Mercury retrograde. That's something you got to watch out for. Oh, yeah. Okay, everybody calm down. I'm going to get serious for a second. <laughs> okay, so look at this. So, so this chart's not ruled by uh, Gemini, right? This chart's not ruled by Mercury, right? This chart's ruled by Saturn. Oh, and your Saturn's retrograde. Okay, we'll leave that for a second. So, you know, you're going to have communication problems in this lifetime. Uh, Mercury's behind the sun. So you're going to be in a situation like, um, like you're going to have communication problems. Holy God, those are some squares. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you're in trouble. Okay, so here we go. So let's start it back up. So... <clears throat> <laughs> Where's your boyfriend in the crock pot? Okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh my god, I want to say some so many nasty things. <laughs> so I've got you guys are really dirty. I gotta stop channeling. You guys here, let me restart the stopwatch here because I've totally checked out. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. So let's we'll get to the good stuff in a sec. Let's <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hilarious. Okay, we're back. So let's start it up. So I'm gonna say some of the negative stuff first, and then because the negative stuff is kind of really negative in this chart, and then I'll get to the positive stuff because the positive stuff is quite positive in this chart. It's quite you have quite a a, a nice chart here, but there are problems. So first, Gemini, really smart. Mercury's retrograde, communication problems sometimes, 
nobody really understands you half the time like that's the deal nobody understands you you say you're like whoa what's wrong with everybody so like that's the deal but you have some extremely tough stuff in your chart this idea right here is not actually the tough stuff i was thinking of saturn is retrograde so what we all know that means goofing off a little bit there means sometimes you're going to be very fanatical sometimes you're going to goof off a little bit saturn conjunct your ascendant it means you're going to you um you know you might be uh spend a lot of time uh you, so saturn conjunct your ascendant you can be very disciplined you can be a leader you can be very focused at times you can be quite spartan if you want, you can be very not indulge in like frilly stuff or like, you know, not like you might wear like old lady underwear. Like, so like no offense to any old ladies out there, but like, so this, but like, you know, Saturn on the Ascendant is going to make you a little bit grouchy, but at the same time, it's going to make you focus. It's going to make you a leader. You can dedicate yourself to a cause and people are going to look at you like a leader, but they're also going to look at you like you might have resting rbf right you might have a little bit of resting bitch face you might be a little bit uptight at times but at the same time you're a natural leader so do it watch your weight as you go through life you should have swings where sometimes you're skinny sometimes you gain a little bit of weight watch out for that so your saturn is not really that negative in your chart plus saturn is in its home sign right and it's Plus Saturn rules the first house. Like it's, this is okay. Your Saturn, although it's retrograde, it's okay. And it, it Saturn is not really the problem in your chart. If for, you should be disciplined and focused and a thought of as a leader. All right, next, just watch your health, right? Watch for health problems. In addition to that, the moon is in, is in front, is in Aquarius. Okay, so people with an Aquarius moon tend to want to have fun, you know, have fun, be social, meet people, you know, like, you know, friends first, let's go be everybody's friend kind of thing. And you have an Aquarius moon, which is pretty cool. It's in the first house. So although all that watch your identity kind of stuff with Saturn up there, you can be a little uptight. That Aquarius moon in your first house is kind of a party moon. And it's going to highlight your sexuality in this lifetime. So people who were born with the moon in the first house, so first, the negative. Watch out. So moon in the first house, people tend to sleepwalk. So K, okay. you might sleepwalk. You might talk in your sleep. You mean by like, oh, you know, like whatever. You, probably, you might talk in your sleep. You might sleepwalk. Your emotions, your subconscious is on display. But at the same time, you can probably come across as really sexy when you want it. You can really turn on the sex appeal when you want to do it. And moon in the first house people make a lot of money and they're very, very successful by being sexy. So that's what I highly recommend for you. That's what I recommend. <laughs> that's what I recommend. Next, North Node's in the second house. You, people always giving you money, right? So they're always giving you money, but you're always running out of money. They're always giving you money. You're always running out of money. So watch out for it. Um, but it's there. It's there. Uh, right now. Okay, it's right there. We'll look at your transits in a second. But right now, Jupiter just transited this part of the chart. Oh, no, it didn't. Sorry. <laughs> Jupiter is over here where you're really lucky. Okay, we'll look at that in a sec. Okay, what else is going on in the chart? So over here, like you have a lot of energy happening in this astros in the fifth house. So the fifth house uh, is kids, creativity. It's having fun. Kids and creativity. Now, you have... This, you, like you, like you, like, like you're either a writer or an OnlyFans model, one or the other. You're either a writer or an OnlyFans model, straight up. You're going to be infamous, right? You're going to have problems publicly, right? When you go out into the world, people are going to be like, well, <laughs> so you might be an OnlyFans model, man, or you might be cam girl, but whatever, man. So there's, so, there's a way over the top um except the thing is you might be a little uptight you know so capricorn risings and your saturn on your ascendant isn't really like a like a freedom fun loving person that's someone who's a little bit uptight and is kind of a by the book kind of person you're probably a by the book person but over here your romantic sector 
or your creative sector is way over the top charged. You could easily be a very, very, very successful writer, very successful on social media, very successful in entertainment, very, very, very creative. Um, you also, not to, <laughs> it's all cool, okay? Also, there's a possibility that you will, um, you see, this is where you're going to make your money, right? Unblocked ice. <laughs> so, what? So, watch. You're going to, this is where you make your money, though, right? So, if you're going to leave that industry, you know that communication, like Gemini vibe, you're going to make your money in this Gemini sexy vibe. So, you know, you don't have to worry about weights. You don't have to wait. What am I you don't have to worry about dates, right? Guys are always into you, right? Like I said, you're going to make your money on your sexuality with the moon, right? So anyways, you should also probably going to have a, if you wanted to, you can have a bunch of kids. You can also make money teaching kids, like as make money owning a nursery or work, working with kids, kids in creativity. Maybe you're going to be a graphic designer. You'd be very good at graphic design, according to this anyways. All right, next. But that Capricorn stuff, I think is a Capricorn rising. So I'm going to get to the negative stuff in a sec. I know it sounded negative, but I don't mean it as neg nothing has been negative so far. We're going to get to the negative in a sec. And the negative is really bad. So, you know, this is super romantic. This is where you make your money. This is what, as a Capricorn rising with that, and you're not just a Capricorn rising. You have energy there, a lot of big energy, you know, a lot of working behind the scenes. You could own the business, right? Okay, so just saying, no, don't become a cam girl. You're too old for that. Own the business. You could own the business is what I'm trying to say. All right, next. Next. Now, there is some problems in your chart. You know, there might be people trying to control you behind the scenes, right? People trying to control you. Fuck. This <laughs> is... You know, people, unusual stuff happening behind the scenes. People trying to control you in unusual ways behind the scenes. You almost definitely have a whole shit ton of stalkers in your life. Shit ton of stalkers and real idiot motherfuckers trying to screw you sideways. So you got to watch out for that. Now, here we go. Here's the negative stuff. This is another chart with Mars opposite Saturn in the chart, guys. Mars, Mars never casts its... Mars and Saturn never mix rays for good remember that and that's astrology talk <laughs> mars and saturn never mix rays with for good so there's a problem here there is well you don't date guys <laughs> so but anyways you don't date guys but like this chart you're not getting you're getting divorced you're getting divorced there's cheating in relationship there might be the death of a partner all of the above so watch out for committed relationships and the relationships really stressing you out you're gonna have um, control issues in relationships. There might be violence in your relationships. Almost definitely getting divorced and there's cheating in relationships. You're you're like for someone who's supposed to be a professional seductress, you sure fuck have fuck ups in relationships. <laughs> you got like sure your relationships are fu like fucked. So that's the negative. But are you guys ready for the real negative? What's up? Wow. No way. Hey, make sure you tell all your friends. Make sure you tell all your friends. The sunny side kicks ass. <laughs> so we kick ass and we take names because I have no short term memory. So I have to write it down. <laughs> it's okay. Here you go. All right. All right. Well, you ready for the real negative thing? You might have had. Um, you might have. So this is extremely negative in a chart this here indicates there's the possible death of a brother or sister uh, it indicates your mother might have had kids that didn't live and so the what do you mean she's taking it like a champ i said she's gonna own the company <laughs> she's gonna own the company she's working in the right she knows what she's doing she's creative i said she's got she's gonna make the money Anyways, you have death in your chart, a really fucked up death too. 
not you dying you have breathing problems right you probably have asthma but don't worry about that the, uh, maybe not but there are breathing problems in the gym but whatever you have death in your chart you have life interrupted not your life you have the life of a brother or sister your brother or sister might die maybe your one of your brothers might have died when you were young maybe your mother had an abortion or your mother had miscarriages kids that didn't live but that is a really negative thing happening in your chart that you have to watch out for right you're an only child right on all right next what do you guys i didn't say your pet's gonna die i didn't get to your pets yet hold on i didn't get to your pets yet i didn't get to your pets yet <laughs> the um but you can you can if you like you can, your mars is in cancer you like pets all right next 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 all right so here we go problems in relationships <laughs> next <laughs> well that's your just you see you know you're probably gonna like traveling you know infamous be careful you okay be careful when you go outside your pluto's in the 10th house there's always going to be problems the cat was like a brother to you what the fuck <laughs> that's not the kitty i was talking about <laughs> next oh uh, my wife's gonna get so mad at me for talking like this all the sunny setters are keeping quiet in the background they're like sunny is fucked because <laughs> like they're said like, she gonna drive she's gonna come all the way to canada she's gonna be standing over over my bed in the morning with a oh my god with a lawyer <laughs> she's gonna be my wife. oh my god oh my god she was so mad she hit me with a lawyer i was fucked up <laughs> hold on let me hide these guys oh thanks guys oh thanks beast okay next okay let's look at the chan transits <laughs> hey ivory what's up <laughs> okay here we go Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, A, it's after midnight. It is after midnight. I really don't have any, I really don't, like, there's no, there's nothing. Well, I guess there's a lot. I can't, I have to wake up in the morning to go to the hospital, so I can't. <laughs> I'm not All right, here we go. Next, next, next. So, here are the transits. So, first, oh, okay, so, so you probably, okay, so. Let's get to some good news. Okay, some good news. So this north node, the sorry, the south node has been traveling for the last couple of years over the top of your chart. It's almost out. Okay, it's almost here. And this is going to cause certain problems with popularity, right? This is groups of people in internet stuff. And this is government and authority figures. So that south node was going to bring you into a lot of contact with groups of people, it was going to cause you problems with groups of people, and it was going to cause you problems very publicly as well. So, but that stress in your life is almost done. And it's not coming back for another, for you, it's not coming back for about another um, 16 years. So you're out, you're out of that negative publicity situation, right? It's, it's, there's nothing, there's nothing coming back. So you're going to be okay. Down at the bottom of your chart and see, this is where all of the action is down here. You're going to see there's a lot happening. So right now, like the sun just crossed it like into your first house here. So like you are going to be the center of attention everywhere you go now. The light is going to shine on you. People are going to check you out. They're going to be like, hey, Kay, what's it up? What's up, player? What's up? And you're going to be like, uh, <laughs> so like he's up. So that's the deal. You are attracting a lot of attention right now. All right. People are probably looking at you everywhere you go. On the negative side, all right, Beast, have a wonderful, wonderful night. We'll see you soon, man. Mercury is retrograde. So here's where things get fucked up. And it's a little funny. Mercury is retrograde in the first house. So you're going to think about different ways of changing your identity. 
right? So changing your identity. There might have been a thing that happened in the last couple of months, right, when Pluto was retrograde, where you might have been thinking about, believe it or not, plastic surgery, getting some kind of face work done, maybe getting like a nose job, braces, or, um, you know, you might have thought about changing your name in the last little while, or you might have thought about getting some weird tattoo. All this stuff to change your appearance, uh, you've been going through that in the last little while. And right now, it's a bit of a weird thing. So don't do anything permanent with Mercury retrograde. Don't do anything permanent to your appearance right now until the end of January, seriously. And so there you go. Now, Venus is also here, and you're definitely attracting right now. So you're probably looking good, feeling pretty good, and things are pretty good. Saturn is over here in your second house. So you're going to have to work your ass off, right? Uh, you might have some kind of entrepreneurial idea you might put into play uh, because Saturn is approaching uh, the North Node, right? So there's some kind of money thing or job thing or career thing or entrepreneurial thing you're thinking about doing, and you're putting Saturn a lot of hard work into making it happen, North Node making it happen. And Saturn is very, very good with the North Node. Okay, They like each other. That's a very good placement for it. All right, next. So that's money. So Jupiter is over here in communication. Uh, so you could probably talking your brains out these days, right? Communicating with a lot of people, running around, checking out a lot of people. Watch your driving. Chiron is here. So you might like lose your keys a lot, lose your cell phone a lot. You know, you might drop your cell phone in the toilet a couple of times. Just watch out for it. You know, communication problems and stuff. There is weird stuff happening at home, right? Unusual stuff, rebellious stuff. You might be going through an unusual style living arrangement right now, which is a little bit weird, but Uranus is so slow. It doesn't really matter. It's not really a thing. And I doubt you're buying a house right now. But if you were buying a house, you know, unusual living kind of thing. And what else is going on? Mars is very much stimulating down here. So I would say <clears throat> if you liked guys, if you were into guys, I would say watch out for getting pregnant right now. I would very, very, very seriously say watch out for accidental pregnancies right now. So watch out for accidental pregnancies. <laughs> so like, watch out for it. Watch out for problems with the kids. You're putting a lot of, I. oh, you are buying a house? No way. Oh, well, go astrology. <laughs> go astrology. No way. Are you making this up? <laughs> so I didn't want to focus on that. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Oh, man. Well, if you guys are buying houses, i got to up my rates, man. <laughs> it's like, what are we... <laughs> I just joke it. All right. Well, welcome to the sunny side where the obvious goes, <laughs> Okay, so we, we can do things. Watch out for the swimming pools. Yeah, we can do... We can predict the future on this channel. We just having difficulty getting through today. It's so, oh my god, oh my god, what kind of fucking psychic man? It's not, I know, like, oh my god, it's like what they used to say at music school. I was like, Sonny, what the fuck? You know about 25 scales to play on a G7, and you don't know what the fucking day it is? Like, dude, I've been, I've been in our little room for a whole weekend. I don't know what the day is. Oh my god. All right, next, next. Okay, everybody be cool. So, you're not accidentally pregnant, are you? <laughs> Sunny, you're not going to believe it. I'm not pregnant, but I did have a hot dog for lunch. <laughs> so I'm just saying, I'm not pregnant, but... <laughs> just like, all right, everybody shut up. That's so... I think it'd be a fa <sighs> My wife's going to punch me in the head with a frying pan. <laughs> so, like, she's going to... She's going <laughs> to... She's going to... Oh, my God. Okay, next, next, next. So it, it <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> hey, so don't sign anything, right? Be careful. Mars is so Mercury's retrograde, right? No weird tattoos right now, but forget the Mercury retrograde thing. Mars is retrograde for another two weeks. And so don't, don't, and this is creativity, right? This is not just creativity. This is where your money is. Okay, this is where your money is, right? So whatever's going on, be, so, you know, some of the signs I was saying, 
don't you know like um you wait for mars to go direct because you don't want any problems in the fifth house at all like you already have mercury retrograde here you don't want any more problems in the fifth house because your money is right there so like no problems anywhere around your money so just wait for another couple of weeks and then launch whatever it is that you want to launch <laughs> so, all right next okay so that's the deal and that's why i'm harping on it i say i'm not harping on it because i like i don't really fifth you're not going to get pregnant like whatever but like that's where your money is so watch out for it okay next well that's it that's it there we go well we did it oh man well my 10 minute readings are stretching into 30 minute epic adventures but it is fun guys so that's the deal, Kay. I hope everything is super cool with you. You know, I hope everything works out. You're not, you know, let me just check here. No, you, you Saturn, you went through your Saturn stress a couple of years ago. Uh, in 2009, 2019, you went through your stress, right? Your Saturn return in 2019, 18, 19, 2019 is when you had all the problems. You're out of it now. The nodes aren't really close to anything. You know, Scorpio, Virgo, you're okay. There's death in your chart, you know, around death. A lot of, there's a, so you, you have a really cool chart. Very re creative. You could be a romance novelist if you wanted to. I don't know, does that exist anymore? I don't know if either of those exists anymore. I don't know if romance exists anymore or novelists. Did I just say like Tyrannosaurus Rex <laughs> and rock? Uh SLC said I gotta have to get a pet rock now. I can't until I graduate up to like living animals. Until I decide to live with my pets, I have to only to get a rock. <laughs> so, oh man. Okay. Well, I guess we're done. Did anyone else sneak in? Uh thanks, Tien. That's really sweet. Uh, well, you're super welcome, Kay. It's my pleasure. It's my super pleasure. Like, seriously. Tell all your friends about the sunny side. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you are super duper welcome. This was a lot of fun tonight. This was We had some fun. All right. All right. It's 1 o'clock. Oh, Madison, sure, no problem. Sure, no problem. But you have to pay up right away. You got to pay, send your stuff in right away because I'm about to take off. So, that's, yeah, go ahead. Uh, do the PayPal right away. They're 35, Madison. If you want to do it, just say yes and then hit the PayPal and then I'll wait around. Otherwise, I'm going to take off and I'll read your charts tomorrow. I'll be back on tomorrow night. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we play the psychic game on the channel. And we're going to have more psychics Sunday stuff. And I'm teaching on the Sunday as well. So, yeah, no problem, Madison. I'm just chilling out. I guess we're not having super lag super latency like we normally do Ooh, i guess that's all right all right is madison still here oh man are you okay madison well i tell you i tell you what oh madison's right there all right you got it oh just type it in just type it in madison just type it in just type it in and I'll um, do the rest. So it's, just type in your birth chart. Not your, Just type in your birthday. <laughs> just type in your birthday and your birth time and your birth city. And I'll do it right away. Uh, I'll, I'll enter it in. A progress chart. A progress chart is how your chart changes over time. No, I got you, Madison. I just need your birth time, your birth stuff. I got you. You're all set. I'm putting you in the description box. One sec, Madison, I'm putting you in the description box so that and a timestamp.
so that you can find your chart a little you find your reading when you come back there we go now go ahead type in your birth it stuff in there and i'll bring it up on my chart right here i'll enter your chart a progressed reading what happens is your chart progresses over time hey right on all right let's look do madison's chart what happens is your chart progresses it changes over time so you um oh my god oh my god <laughs> you guys are all making friends tonight okay what <laughs> oh man you guys are having an experience okay one sec let me get down to this <laughs> you guys well the sunny side is where everybody makes friends all right okay madison martin and your birthday is no 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 this is exactly where you send it no 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 perfect madison it's all it's everything is perfect July 29th, 2002. Here, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm entering it into the right here. So, what the frick? July 29th, I think. July 29th, 2002. And 12.57 p.m. Twelve fifty-seven p.m. in Statesboro, STA. Georgia. There we go. July twenty-ninth, two thousand and two. Twelve fifty-seven p.m. in Statesboro, Georgia. We cool? Did we get it? Hey guys. You guys all neighbors. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so, oh, you guys. All right, here we go. Let's just save it so that I have it, you know, when you come back. All right, Madison, here we go. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Wow, you know what? Madison, you could be really, really famous. A bunch of charts tonight could have been really famous. Madison could be very famous. Okay, let's start the stopwatch and let's do it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. In in a second, timestamp. I'm going to put a timestamp in the description box for you so you can find it. And then save the video somehow, guys, so that you can come back and find your readings. All right, starting. Here we go. Madison is up. Deep breath. So, Madison, here we go. You are Ju July 29th, 2002, 12.57 p.m. in Statesboro, Georgia. Here we go. You are a super-duper cancer. Oh, my God. You probably work in the adult industry as well. Oh, sorry, Leo. My bad. <laughs> so, my bad. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> Sorry. Like my eyes. I'm getting tired. You are a super. Su you're like a Leo. You're probably like, oh my God. You're a Leo Libra rising. Are you serious? No way. Oh, well, here you go. Wow, look at that. Wow, you're probably really pretty. Holy crap. And you're competitive as holy crap, Ola. You're probably, you know, man, this isn't, okay, so I'm just making an observation, then we'll read your chart. You might be an athlete or be into athletics, um, athletic sports. You might work in the military. Maybe you work in the military. Maybe you ran away from a home as a kid. Maybe you ran away from a home. Maybe you decided to work in the military. Um, you know, maybe you're a police officer, you know, with that Aries moon kind of thing. Hold on a second. A tarot destroyer. That's not even a real thing, man. You like a, <laughs> you're a bot <laughs> and a shitty bot is that. All right, here we go. Yeah, great here and pretty. She's probably really pretty, like nice. And she's probably quite girly. 
Oh my god, watch out for Kay. <laughs> Kay, Kay, this one's really pretty and she's and she's and she's really Okay, let's get down to it. So over here, so her son is in Leo and her ascendant is in Libra. So she's and her but her moon is in Aries, right? So she is she's kind of fiery. All Madisons are pretty. It's just the fact that's smooth, man. I'm gonna write that one down for Sonny's little personal hey, how are you? <laughs> so like so that was pretty slick, okay. Okay. All right, next. Okay, next. <laughs> so so here we go. So in the um here we go. Here we go. So once again, let me start this off again. Matt, let me reset the stopwatch, Madison. Because I get kind of like I got good. We're just joking here tonight. I'm getting confused. Okay, let's start it again. So Madison is a Leo, right? When her Mars is in Leo, almost conjunct her sun, right? But her Jupiter is lagging a bit, almost conjunct the sun as well. But it it it's loose. Okay, this conjunction like. Some astrologers might say that's a, a conjunction, but it's loose or it's right. So watch out for it. Meaning some people might say that these guys are connected into a conjunction, but it's loose. But what it does mean is you should be, uh, you could be very aggressive at times. Uh, I said sporty, right? You could be very aggressive, maybe a little bit sporty, but Libras aren't really sporty. Libras are really pretty. Libras are like, excuse me. Leo's sporty, right? But Libra risings, they tend to be like cheerleaders, right? As opposed because they want to be with the star. So they tend to be cheerleaders. They tend to help other people. Your moon is in the sixth house. So like, you know, you probably help a lot of people in this lifetime. Like you're, you're like, you're always helping people. You're probably a workaholic. You probably, you might have to go to the gym every day. Fitness might be important in, in your life. Uh, you're also extremely competitive, you know, and health is probably very important to you. Now, this chart is unbelievable. So here we go. So Pluto is in the second house. So this is damned if you do, damned if you don't in money. It's an idea. I mean, it might, you might feel like no one's ever going to pay you what you're worth. And you might not care about it at times. You'll be like, oh, man, that guy's not going to pay me anyways. So watch out for it. Um, in addition to that, the south node is there. And they're conjunct, right? Pluto is conjunct the south node. So a lot of very negative ideas about making your money on your own. You probably feel that you're worth a lot more than you get paid. And you're probably, you know, that's the deal. Over here. Now your Pluto, this little conjunction here, this energy right here does make a this is an interesting fuck it may this is an interesting sorry guys this is the fuck so this here makes a harmonious aspect to mercury right so your brains are pretty good right that's a harmonious aspect that's good so your popularity should make you a lot of money but what's going to happen is right this stuff is actually square like the venus energy but it's not that tight it's five degrees okay so so you are gonna have to watch your money in this lifetime right this this energy here right this squares everything this is negative so you getting paid madison is going to be problematic often uh, what <laughs> all right okay so here you go so you have to so you have to watch out for the situation. You might not get paid the money you're supposed to get paid, and it might be a problem like all the time for your entire life. So that's the deal. You're gonna so that's the deal. You're gonna be super popular whether you want to do it or not. You easily can be an actress. You easily could be popular. You easily could be a politician. If you wanted to go into politics, you can go into politics. You do have fighting with authority figures here. And you do have running away from home as well. So that's the deal. There's a tendency to be outside. You always want to go outside, go outside, go outside, right? You don't, for whatever reason, you don't really want to stay trapped in at home. In addition to that, you might have an unusual kind of home life, right? Like you might have grown up in a situation. It's unusual. Like 
maybe your parents were separated or you grew up with your aunt or you grew up with your like grandmother or something or you had multiple families that you grew up in or maybe you were adopted um but some kind of thing unusual lifestyle uh growing up at the home and as you grow through life you'll always have this unusual vibe happening at home maybe you're going to be unsettled maybe you're going to end up living in a car right watch out you know you might end up living in a car or you might end up traveling a lot living in hotels or something so watch out for that kind of stuff now getting back to you know there might have been an unusual situation with the parents now back to the money in a little bit there's um there's like your shared resources is where the thing is like where the energy is you should spend a lot of time working to you're going to end up making other people a lot of money and saturn is there you're probably a little bit tormented you probably find yourself paying for other people a lot or oftentimes people promise you money and it doesn't come through it's people paying for you the shared resources it's also your sexuality we'll talk about that in a little bit of a sec but like and your health so you're going to find that um like someone might steal an inheritance from you. Like you're supposed to inherit a lot of money. Someone might steal it from you or you're supposed to win some, like this is, you're supposed to kind of win the jackpot, so to speak, in relationships, right? Like you're supposed to like, you know, it's also Taurus energy. So if there are any Tauruses watching, it's also Taurus energy. So, and it's also Gemini, destiny with a Gemini. But the problem is it means someone might steal some money from you and it might mean you might repress yourself a little bit. So you have to watch out for it. Friends are going to try and control you. You're going to have to watch your money. Uh, next, moon in the sixth house, along with Lilith, you might have asthma. You might have breathing problems. You might wheeze a little bit. You're always going to be taking care of other people. Um, always. Like you might be a, a, a nurse. But like this says competitive, right? This chart says competitive. This says working for the military um, you know, loud and proud, showy. Uh, you could be very, 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 uh, you could be quite famous if you wanted to. People always talking about you. Next, you know, that's the deal. I, you're, she's probably, I don't, you know, I have to be careful about who I say this to, but, you know, the moon in the sixth house along with Lilith can be a bit of a sex freak. Just saying, the moon in the sixth house along with Lilith can definitely be a bit of a sex freak. So, there you go. There, like, no, there you go. But her Venus is in Virgo. So this is someone, even though she might be a little bit of a competitive person, a little bit of a sex freak, that Venus in Virgo is definitely going to lock it down. They're not, she's not going to, Venus in Virgo, you know, they can be very critical. They can be quite conservative. Like, I mean, Mars is in Leo. She's obviously loud and proud, right? It's conjunct the sun. She can be violent and aggressive she's probably a very me 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 person and a we 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 person because she's a libra rising right so it's interesting this chart i think this chart is very very good for um like like really good for a politician or really good for someone who wants to be famous or really good you see or maybe you're going to end up being a grant writer Except the problem with grant writing is this, is someone's going to steal your money. So you have to watch out for it. That's the deal. Venus over here in the 11th house, friends into lovers. You should make your money from groups of people, standing in front of groups of people. Actually, to be honest with you guys, I would say, and she's, you're going to have money in this lifetime. You will make a good chunk of money. There is a little bit of... um. A little bit of a problem like venus kind of squares the saturn a little bit you know so there is a problem that uh, people are going to try and control you sexually all the time or they're always going to try and control you so you're gonna have to watch out for that kind of vibe seriously but you should be really popular like that's the deal and you put energy into being popular you're very creative very very you know, like so that's the deal it all depends on what you want to do in life. It all depends on what you want to do. Um, and it looks like you you want to. It looks like you're sporty, except it's Libra, right? So, so and um, you're very competitive. And you uh, it looks like health is a big deal in your chart. 
and you have to watch your health. There's one more thing. She should start an OnlyFans. She stood. She, sh I, you know, I'm being hesitant. I'm, he you know, Kay, I'm hesitant to say it because like certain things and certain things, you know, were like your chart had all of that energy in the fifth house. That's like romance way off the hook <laughs> like way off the hook romance and stuff but in in madison's chart she has real legit popularity like legit popularity like venus her money is coming from groups of people this is someone who's going to make a lot she could make a lot of money on uh social media she should be very popular on social media if she wanted to do it uh, you know maybe teaching people stuff like maybe Madison with that Venus in Virgo, maybe she's gonna make yoga videos, or maybe she's gonna, yeah, maybe she's gonna make yoga videos, right? Health kind of stuff. Um, well, there you go. Or she might help somebody do it. But she should be Madison. You should be really successful in this lifetime. All right, next, let's go to see what her transits are and see what's going on. A musician or a writer? Holy crap! But I, I went on, I said all of that stuff saying that you're going to make money. Why would you do something where you won't make money? <laughs> no, I, just, I just joke it. You know what? I, you know, I'm going to say something before we go check your transits. I think a musician or a writer very well aspected in your chart. I do think you would be very successful as a musician or a writer. I'll tell you guys something. Libra, Libra energy, that's singers. I know so many singers who are Libras. It's not even funny. And they're all really pretty. And they can all sing. And they can. They really can. Because they're pretty, right? They sing pretty. <laughs> and so that's Libra, you know, it's ruled by Venus. That's where a bunny's going. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Her money's going to lighting and makeup? What? That's where my money goes. <laughs> Light. Dark. Light. Dark. I spend my money on green screens. That you don't actually see. <laughs> okay. All right, stop it. Let's go see what's going on. If you, you, sh um, Madison, you have popularity in your chart with no joke, legitimate, a lot of honest to God popularity. So y you could be very famous, if you, but be confident in it. Hey, gaming, what's up, player? I hope everything is cool, man. It's the hair, the cool. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. So let's go see what's going on with Madison, right? Oh, wow. So Madison was in, in a very, um, in the last year, Madison was in a super romantic cycle. She really was. Like for the last little while, Jupiter was down here transiting Jupiter. This was it. 2021. No, what year are we in now? 23? 2022 was the year of love for Madison. Oh my God. Love, creativity. Holy smokes. That was it. Anyways, let's can see what's going on right now. So right now, Madison has to watch out for her credit card, right? Madison's credit card is probably taking a major hit right now. Joint finances are probably very, very expensive. Are you popular from a scandal? That's so cute. Not yet, but if you hang out on the sunny side, you will be. <laughs> All right, whatever. All right. Hey, Madison, joint finances, right? Oh, you found another partner in 2022. Yeah, big romantic shift changing. Right now, joint finances, problem, credit card, problem, grant, problem, taxes, problem. The um, joint finances, taxes, credit card, all have problems. Um, your health, Madison, your health right now and for the next month and a half until March, Madison, until March, you have to watch your health. No joke. And so... Health, credit card. There's also a possibility you have to pay out a little bit of money for a legal expense like um, parking tickets, right? So that kind of stuff. Hey, wing one. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Right. So 
watch out for that. You've been going through this for the last uh, couple of months. You're going to be out of it soon. But because it's also your health, I'm telling you to super watch it. All right, next. So super watch it. Joint finances. Your credit card's going to get a lot better. You might start a new kind of business like within the next um, month. Wait until after January 20th to begin any kind of new business, especially with regards to money. All right, seriously. Down here in the chart, you know, watch out for communication problems. Watch out for breaking your cell phone. You know, watch out for car problems. You know, Mercury's retrograde communication is off in your third house there. So watch out for it. Also, your Chiron is naturally in your third house, right? Like losing keys all the time. So just watch out for communication nonsense. Venus is down here. So there should be some interesting stuff happening at your house right now, right? Like there's a possibility that, you know, love and fortune is arriving at your house right now. Money might arrive at the house in the mailbox. Uh, your parents should be pretty happy. Saturn is down there, so it's a little bit boring. It's a little bit cold. The home is a little bit weird. So just chill out with that for the next little while. I'm going to warn you guys, astrologically, Saturn is difficult with certain things. Saturn's difficult with Mars. It's also difficult with Uranus. And coming up in about two months, Saturn is going to conjunct Uranus at home, which is going to shake things up at home. So Madison, there's a shakeup coming to your home life this year. Uh, like in the next three months, two, three months, some kind of shakeup is happening at home where someone might go away and you might think about you might think about moving, you know, so that you might think about moving or leaving. So there you go. So there you go. Uh, again, Jupiter is entering into, you know, Ju the romance sector is moving over a little bit. So as you're moving on, you might, you know, watch your health, watch your health, watch your health, watch your health. Relationships are unpredictable right now, so don't worry about your relationships. Just do your thing, right? Watch your joint finances get a lot better in a, a couple of weeks. Everything gets better in a couple of weeks. All right, now, oh, you might have a little problem publicly, right? Lilith is right there at the top of your chart, so someone might be saying nasty things about you at work, so watch out for that, okay? <laughs> watch out for that. What else do you have in your chart? Well, that's the gist. You know, big stuff in relationships right now. Your chart is okay. Let me just double check something out. Yeah, the only real thing I see happening is watch your money. Definitely watch your money. Credit cards and stuff. You know, renegotiate. Like borrowing money is a thing. And, uh, you know, you could uh, it's something screwy. It might happen at the home in the next couple of months, like pipes might burst or something. So watch out for that kind of thing. And that's the deal. Hey, we did it. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. Oh, man. Right scripts. Oh, wing one's getting perverted. Hey, Kay Wyatt, watch out for wing one. She's a little bit on the dirty side. And I don't mean like dirty like. I mean it exactly the way you think I mean it. Dirty with an I-E at the end. Dirty, like as in dirty bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I call Wing One a dirty bird. Can you believe that? Oh my god, Wing One is like... <laughs> <laughs> Say I'm not a dirty bird. A little bit. <laughs> more like, well, you can stop calling me a dirty bird. I'm straight cougars. And all cougars are dirty. <laughs> it's not, not a dirty bird. I'm a cougar. Cougars are not dirty. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, you found mold in your house? Is that what the problem was? Well, there you It's a Saturn y thing. <laughs> what? She should be doing more only when the bird is the word. What? No, not that kind of bird. I meant like a little bit. <laughs> it's a. You guys had mold in your house. No way. Yeah, something is happening at the house right now. <laughs> Madison. Oh, my God. I work on YouTube. I'm allowed to be broke, too. I read, I read tarot cards on YouTube. I'm definitely allowed to be broke. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. 
Hey, Madison, you have a really good life ahead of you. If I were you, I would focus on being very popular. I would think about going into politics. You're a Libra rising. You're probably really pretty. You're probably quite girly. And you're probably very dramatic and really, really good. If I were you, I would absolutely go after your dreams, whatever they are. And the bigger they are, the more chance you have to succeed at your dreams. For your chart, the more chance you have, the bigger the dreams, the more chance you have to succeed. And the more public you are in high visibility, the more chance you have to succeed. This is You're going to be successful in life. If you have a lot of confidence and take chance on yourself, you will succeed. Hey, gaming, what's up? Did you want me to look at your chart? Well, I guess I got to pull, pull it up. All right, next. Oh, I missed that. I didn't see where she said that. Where the um, I didn't see where she said that she's going to inheritance. So parents coming into money. Yeah, she's gonna. She has to watch out. Someone's gonna steal her and he, try and steal her inheritance. Oh my God! Oh my God! Did you see that? K Y five K. I get a Y five on that. I called it. You called it. Oh my God! Welcome to the sunny side after dark. Oh my God! <laughs> this is the home of cam models <laughs> that's right cam models and musicians who refuse to go to work <laughs> that's that's what it is anyways we don't we're all about personal empowerment here so whatever you guys decide to do as long as you guys do your best i support you you know as long as you know what you're doing and you know what you're getting into I support you. All right, next. It does check out for a politician. Who's anonymous? Okay, so hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not sure what's going on. Who's anonymous, guys, who just tipped in? And we have gaming is there. So I'll pull up gaming's chart for reading as well. Let me check. Oh, Sonny, seriously? Okay, hold on a sec, guys. Oh my God, double seriously, Sonny. Well, the adult stuff in the back, yeah, it's, you know, I wouldn't worry about it. Like I would worry about it because it's definitely a thing, but I wouldn't worry about it because you're going to be okay. Is this... Okay, hold up. All right, let's pull some charts. We have to. I have to pull a chart or two up here. Can you guys just give me a second? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, hold on. Let me pull up my charts here. So we're gonna look for. obviously okay let's keep going I can't find many charts. Hold on. No way. You want money gambling on the scopes? No way. No way. Oh, thanks, man. That's super awesome. I super, super, super appreciate it. And hey, Romeo, what's up, man? I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. It's great seeing you. These guys are old sunny siders. We're just hanging out. We're just goofing around. K1 says, honestly, if a politician got called on. 
Yeah, it would all be pretty cool. Hold on, Romeo. I'm going to put you in there. Gaming, gaming, do you want me to look at your chart? Like, I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> like, we're here. I might as well look at it. But give me a sec, because I can't find it. But I think I have it right here. This. Hold on a sec, guys. That's really cool. Let me just. Ah, right here. Okay. I do have your chart. I know you got your chart. Okay, so. Okay, so. That's really cool, man. So, whoops. Okay, March 6th, 1996. March 6th, 1996, 219 a.m. Wilmar, Minnesota. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. Wait. Oh no, Wilmar's not coming up, man. Hold on. Hold on. What the hell is going on here? I mean, Wilmar's not coming up. Oh no, there's no Wilmar anywhere. What the hell is wrong with this thing? Hold on a second. Two L's? I'll do it. All right. What the fuck is wrong with the... All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I gotcha. Wilmar. And select. <laughs> select. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. Gaming is here. Let me sa save gaming's chart. And so we'll lose this. And one sec. And Romeo, I have to pull up Romeo's chart. Hey, Romeo, it's good to see you too. Hold on a sec. Oh, <laughs> Why can't I get Romeo? What's wrong with my charts, man? Oh, anyways, I have Romeo on the other computer as well. Let me just check this out again. Hey, I got it. Okay, Romeo is right here. February 11th, 1983, 11.58 a.m. Romeo, 11.58, right? I mean, sorry, 10.58. TN's charts right there as well. Okay, here we go. All right, gaming is up and then Romeo is up. Let's do it, guys. You got a foot of snow. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get those out of there. Excuse me. Oh, double excuse me. It's actually, the weather's been okay up here in Toronto. In Chicago, it's been okay as well. But Buffalo got hammered, man. <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right. We're going to... Uh, Pull up gaming charts here. Uh, pull up our transits here. Okay, almost set to go, guys. 
almost set to go. Okay, gaming is up and then Romeo. All right. Timestamp 324 and we are going to do it. Here we go. All right, wing one, stay out of trouble. <laughs> Here we go. Gaming is up. Oh. All right, let's do it. Thanks, man. I've been working on it. My dad died a couple like last month. <laughs> so he died at the end of October. So I changed things up a little bit, you know, so we'll see how life plays out. It's a little screwy right now. SLC's mom died last year too. It was a pretty rough year. And so it's, it's pretty crazy. What? Wait, being a cougar doesn't have anything to do with how young the other guy is. <laughs> what? <laughs> so like, okay, everybody, hold on. <laughs> so I just joking. I'm just joking. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Gabing is up, guys. It's great to see you guys, and super congratulations with making money on the thing. Okay, here we go. You made money, right? I'll see if I can see where it is. Okay, so here we go. Gaming is up. So. In this, so here we go. So gaming is a Pisces. Son of a gun, my chart's really doing this thing. So gaming is a Pisces. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so gaming's a Pisces, right? And his Mars is right there conjunct his sun. So he can be a, a very aggressive kind of Pisces, right? So there's, there's, here we go. Oh, yeah, it was pretty rough year, but it's okay. Taking it. Sub I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing really good. I ran the Toronto Marathon uh, a couple of months ago. Like, everything is okay. <laughs> so I'm okay. And so SLC is good, you know. But the people around us are in rough shape. Here, let's do this again. All right, so gaming's chart. So in gaming's chart, so he has a lot of energy in the third house. Oh, my God, gaming. Third house. I don't know if I... With Mars and Saturn there in the third house, you know, you should be running around a lot. You know, run what the fuck. <laughs> it's, it's driving me nuts. All right, with Mars and Saturn there, um, one of the things running around a lot, a lot of conflict. You might have to, you know, you have to be careful for like going to jail. You right, arguing, going to jail, running around a lot, people trying to control your movement. Uh, that's a really tricky kind of placement there. So be careful. You could be very argumentative, but even though it's in Pisces and it's very debating and very healing, not debating, it's very, it's, I said debating because it's in the third house. So it's, uh, it's very healing kind of energy. You have to watch out. Uh, thanks, Kay. I super appreciate that. All right. So here, well, that's one of the things. Well, well you know, I'm trying to keep it real here. <laughs> so he says, so... You know, that's things to watch out for. But it's also a lot of running movement, right? Moving around, like driving a lot, right? Driving a lot, being on tour, a lot of movement, a lot of communicating, a lot of healing other people, a lot of artsy stuff. And so anyways, right? And, and this part of your chart, the third house, actually has all of this energy is still here and it's going to continue. So this Jupiter is cruising through, but it's on the other side. It's on the other side moving out. So... You know, a lot of movement, a lot of movement this year, a lot of communication this year, a lot of, you know, maybe arguing with your brothers and sisters. But like it should be, you know, a lot of like a lot. The word is a lot, a lot of communication, a lot of moving around, a lot of brothers and sisters stuff. 
right now, you have to watch out because Mercury is retrograde in your first house. So that's going to make, you know, watch out that you don't hit your head, that you don't have nosebleeds and headaches. Watch out. You might think about doing something weird with how you look. It's okay to do something weird with how you look, but like no tattoos on the, you know, not nothing too weird, right? No driving getaways, seriously. Every job you involved driving. <laughs> so yeah, like driving is like a thing. So you're probably actually a pretty good driver. So, but you watch out for, you know, just be careful with it. Anyways, lots of drive, lots of moving around, lots of motion. Um, don't do anything too crazy with your appearance until the end of January, right, guys? Like, there's one thing about doing something crazy with your appearance, not a big deal. But there's another thing with like changing your mind. And right, you're going to change your mind. So don't do anything too crazy right now. Over here, Venus is cruising through uh, your money sector. So now really is a good time for you to make some money, right? So now is a good time. Like this is it. Time to get paid. And it's time to get paid. Seriously, very seriously time to get paid. Saturn is going to remain here for a little while. So hard work to get paid. Lots of hard work. Lots of hard work to get paid. You're going to go through your Saturn return, but not yet. Not for a while. No, I don't think you, you go through it until 2024. So like, just take it easy. You know, just take it easy. Do your thing. Don't let, you know, work hard, right? For money. Saturn's going to keep working, keep working, keep working, keep working. All right? So... And then when you go through your Saturn return, then it's going to stress out. But like, you don't have to stress out for a long time. Okay, but watch, you know, you're going to just watch your driving. Now, down here, okay, so like gaming, like, you know, man, you're like, you don't have any problems in your chart, like right now, per se. You might robbing the bank. <laughs> you might have health problems. Okay. So very seriously watch your health. And very, very seriously watch your health. Okay. Like that's where the problem is. You're probably very, very busy working on an, a project from the past. And you don't really have a lot of time for anybody. Like you're just super busy. But at the same time, definitely watch your health. Now, things are having said all of that. What I'm going to say is, <clears throat> in the next, so your chart is good, but coming up, right, on the horizon, like last, like on the horizon, there are some challenges coming. And so you, just a heads up, in 2024, you are going to, Saturn is going to make that pass, right? You have a, a time before you get there. But it is going to make that pass. Uh, right now, it's all about working hard for money. Hard work for money. But Saturn's going to cause problems. And then the North Node is going to come here around the same time. And you'll have that Node opposition we're talking about. And it's all going to sort of happen at the same time. So you're going to have to watch out in about a year and a half that you're going to dramatically change your life somehow. And that's the deal. More than likely, um, you know, it might per you might have some kind of driving problem that's going to lead to that. But more than likely, you're going to move. All right, something is going to happen as this North Node here ticks down towards Venus. Right in the next couple of months, as it makes its little pass there, this guy right here, you're going to find that it's it's going to cross Venus. You're going to have these opportunities to move. And you might make a lot of money in real estate this year, like a lot. You might make a lot of money in real estate this year. Um, so, you know, keep your head, eyes, up, like heads up for that kind of situation. Seriously, seriously. All right, what else is, so that's the deal. So right now things are good. Watch your health is what you have to watch out for. And on the, the distant horizon, there's... Um, a big change coming in your life. Uh, so, uh, but you, but it's, so that's what's going to happen. We're not quite there yet, but I thought I should point it out because like we're going to, it's coming. All right. What else is going on in the chart? Holy crap. Hold on. Seriously. What are you stressing out, son? He's stressing the guy out. I'm just saying. In addition to that, 
there are times when you're going to be super popular, right? Like North Node is right at the top of your chart. You should be super popular at times. All right. What else is going on? So that's the deal gaming. Everything, more or less, almost everything in your chart is below the horizon right now. So everything you're doing, you should be focused on you right now. You, your creativity, your situation in life, you know, working on you, working on your money, right? Money is money and transportation are majorly highlighted. So absolutely go for it. Major, major, major. Absolutely go for it. Oh my God, you made money because I said Pisces are going to be lucky in the lottery because they are. <laughs> And your Venus is at zero degrees. I'm saying guys at zero degrees going to make money. There you go. <laughs> so there you go. What the fuck? All right. You are making money right now. There you go. In unusual ways. Well, there you go, gaming. Normally, I would spend a lot of, like, you know, I'm spending so much time. But, like, you really, you're good. I don't see any stress happening in your chart. I see you having, I see you making a lot of money this year. I see him, I see you working hard. Right, Saturn is there working really hard. I see um, you making money, working hard. I see you, you should make a lot of money this year, possibly at real estate, possibly working in a family business or working from home. Your money should be coming from real estate or from the family business or in Taurus, right? Your money's coming from something very tangible and very physical, is what's happening. So, on Saturn opposite the moon? Good question. Oh. Oh, you're Saturn opposite the moon. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you're going to have a really fucked up Saturn return, okay? You haven't gone through it yet, right? You're like 19, you're not, you haven't gone through it yet. But your Saturn return is going to be fucked up. Because like, because like, that Saturn return is <laughs> Madison couldn't be like <laughs> no it's she's too young for you okay egg hey, so gaming your Saturn return is gonna be opposite your moon it's gonna be a really painful Saturn return it's so uh, whenever like it's gonna be painful so but you don't just go through your Saturn return you're gonna go through worse you're gonna go through saturn mars then saturn sun and then saturn saturn and all of that's going to oppose your moon the whole thing so when you go through this transit it's going to be a real tug at the cock man <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna wish you'd use more tape <laughs> so this is so be careful when you go through it what it means so that's the transit now as far as the aspect right in your natal chart saturn opposite the moon it means you're gonna you're gonna always be pulled away from things you're gonna want to do oh you're gonna on the other side you're gonna be laughing so i wouldn't worry about it and you're gonna make a lot of money so i wouldn't worry about it but just explaining it so saturn so the moon so you're either gonna do the saturn or you're gonna do the moon and that's the deal the problem with it is um like you're born under a full moon so what it means is you're going to give over to the other person all the time you're always going to give in to what other people want so when you're born under a full moon you have to be careful because these people full moon people get taken advantage of all the time they really do wear their hearts on the sleeve and your emotions are in broad daylight like everybody does see your emotions your moon is in Virgo. It's a very, very self-critical and nervous moon sometimes. It's also a really sporty moon, too. I like it a lot. But, like, watch out for it. Now, so that's that part of the deal. Um, so it's either you or doing for others, but full moon do for others. And so that's the thing with them. Um, what's going on, guys? Everybody cool? <laughs> what's... What happened, Yosh? Uh, no, it's been happening in Toronto as well. So, so that's the full moon. Now imagine that it's Saturn, right? So now that was the sun shining light on the moon. You want to do this. 
but you're doing that on the in instead okay now the deal is we have saturn so instead of the sun imagine saturn and it's both and saturn is going to put is going to put really cold rays on that moon right so it's going to cast some a lot of cold to the moon but like at the same time so you're going to keep a lot of feelings to yourself like you're going to keep your feelings and your things to yourself but like you're going to be very giving to your partner very giving to your partner very do what the other person says you're going to cave but you have to watch out because you're going to be it's going to be critical you're going to be a little bit critical about it as well but you're going to spend time planning and helping things for other people yeah the sun moon and rising squaring well that's a tricky one so the thing is so here's the deal with that that's so that that's like a bitch right <laughs> that's a bitch but that's so <sighs> I'm trying to spin it in a positive light because it's your natal chart, not a transit. And so it naturally, these houses and parts of the chart naturally square a little bit. But in your case, it, what's happening is your identity is at odds with certain things. So you're going to look, right? Like if someone were to look at you, they would think, Sagittarius you're probably you know a straight shooter you probably smile uh you like to go outside philosophical um you know fun but you're actually a Pisces and so you're going to be and your moon is in Virgo so you come across you probably come across as a straight shooter and people don't realize how nervous you are on the inside or how crit nervous is just the word, right? Like critical, how critical you are on the inside and how much, you know, how hard you really judge yourself. Like people don't necessarily realize that. In addition to, and that's at odds with the type of face that you wear to the world, which is probably optimistic and happy. And so that's where that square comes into play. I wouldn't necessarily stress that out per se. Um, but I am going to say that the things that you have in your chart, like this grouping together is going to lead, that alone leads to a very negative situation in your astrological chart. Uh, and it's going to lead to you wanting to uh, repress your identity. Like you're going to want to hold yourself back. Uh, you're going to want to hold your words back. You're going to want to hold yourself back. The Mars wants to push it forward, right? You're going to want to not argue, but your Mars is going to want to argue. And they're in the same spot. So there's friction there. And that's where, you know, the problems come into play. Moving around versus jail stuff. You drink because you're Pisces. You drink because you're like, what the hell the fuck? Your Mars is in Pisces, so you drink. You're a social justice warrior. My Mars is in Pisces, too. What do you want to do? Oh, my God. It's 420 every, all day for me. It's a, Oh, my God. No gaming. You're cool, man. That though You do have legitimate squares there, but that's not something that's going to stress everything out. There is, like, like, you, if this, if this squared then we'd really be talking about something but that's not a square it's actually quite harmonious right the the ascendant and the nodes are quite harmonious in this chart so i think it's pretty cool i really do i think you're, you're pretty good you know keep on moving along keep driving keep doing your thing and everything is going to be everything that is going to be okay for the next year and a half, year, in 2024, you're going to change your life in 2024. Like you're going to buy a, something is going to happen in the next year where you decide to make a lot of money. And in 2024, um, you're probably going to buy a house, buy another house or change a house or something. And I think that's what's going on in your chart. I really do. All right. Next. What's up, Kay? 
Oh, gaming, you are super welcome. The... <laughs> oh, gaming's not going to jail. <laughs> he's not going to jail. He's going to, like... He's a player. He's a playboy. He's like he said. He's a playboy. His Mars is in Pisces. This guy is like gaming's a playboy. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. He's just, talking about playboys. Romeo's up. <laughs> oh my god. No way. This guy's his Jupiter's in the first house in Capricorn. The guy is like larger than life. He's like nothing's happening to him, right? His north node is at the top of the chart. He's this guy's this guy's gaming's tight, man. Gaming is absolutely tight. The everything is cool in gaming's chart. <laughs> yeah. All right, next. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right, next. Next, 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 next. All right. Okay. <laughs> hey, um, but gaming, before we go on, before we leave and move to Romeo's chart, when Mars goes direct, okay, at the end of, the, in, in two weeks, when Mars goes direct, Mars is once again, Mars is, Mars is going to square this stellium of yours in um, Pisces. So when Mars goes direct, so make sure you don't get sick. Uh, end of January, but it won't be the end of January. Make sure you don't get sick in February. End of January, beginning of February, make sure you don't get sick. It's a little later than that. Like, make sure, just watch your health, right? Because that's a legit square right there. Whoops. What's wrong with my charts, man? Okay, here we go. Next. Wing one. <laughs> Cross the legs. <laughs> Hold on. Robio's up. <laughs> oh, yeah, the road's dangerous. And the road's getting even more. The road is dangerous and getting even more dangerous. When I was young, I used to like to drive everywhere. But these days, I don't even want. I don't. So. I know. Yeah, you got to be careful out there on the road, guys. Romeo. This is an interesting chart. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just joking, Wigman. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. You don't have to behave. Okay. <clears throat> okay, next. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. I just think it is a funny stuff. Oh my god, well that's the thing, you know, okay? You really do eat a lot of gas stations. You get really sick after a while. When I had owned my when I owned the studio out in Vancouver, I was working so much, and I was eating at the gas station constantly. And so these guys would see me when I would live stream at lunchtime. Like they'd see what I would eat. I'd eat so much fruit from the fruit store, like berries and bananas and all this stuff. But I drank so much coffee and I ate so much muffins and so much junk from Seven Eleven. It's just brutal. When I was working so much, oh wow, it was crazy. Because every time I would go, like, oh, it was just a bad experience. Everything I was eating was always cold. It was horrible. And so, I I just don't want to do it. I, I you know, you know, I it's it's like a thing. You do this. It gets. It feels like poison. Putting after a while, it feels like poison, and you just want some hot food. You know. So, okay, time stamp for Romeo, but it's yeah. All right. Romeo is up. Not only that, I've been doing it here on the show as well. At nighttime, 
I've been because it, it, we start so late. I would take a nap because I usually take a nap, and then when I come, but you know, so hungry when I wake up and I can't really eat and looking for you know I come on tired, maybe fall asleep. So it's been sugar and caffeine for me as well, and it's really bad. It's but it's also Christmas time, so a lot of sugar is cookies, <laughs> and a lot of the caffeine is in the form of scotch and wine. Which isn't exactly caffeine, but like I'm going with it. <laughs> so, okay, so listen, sorry, red wine is not is about caffeine. That's alcohol. Yeah, but like, no, <laughs> it's, it, yeah, I know it's alcohol, but we're lumping it in with caffeine. <laughs> so, all right, next, next. Ah, uh, oh yeah. Oh, you mean back in the day? Oh, yeah, my the parents that used to uh, teach the the parents uh, that used to support me, and they um they used to bring me hot food all the time. They used to bring me food. It was really nice of them. All right, I do eat on camera all the time. <laughs> okay, next, Romeo is being cool. Okay, Romeo's waiting in the background. He's like, oh man, <laughs> he's like. Romeo's like, oh my god, look how cool and calm uh, Sunny is talking to a girl who likes other girls. I wish I could talk to girls who like other girls too. Why the fuck would you want to learn how to do that? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> well, then they could go shop. <laughs> look at the Masada, like all those stupid racist, not racist, the um, comments are so silly. Okay, let's get on with that. I'll stop being stupid. Romeo is up. Romeo, you cool? Let's look at Romeo's chart. And then we'll call it a night. So, Romeo, and we'll see what's going on in Romeo's chart. Romeo, keep it together. You keep it together. Romeo. All right, next. <laughs> yeah, Romeo's taking notes. He's like, oh my God. Oh my God. He's <laughs> like, oh my God. He's getting Romeo's. <laughs> oh my god how to romeo's like got that supercharged venus right so romeo doesn't have girl problems romeo's got a book like he's like oh man how to like how to get into the friend zone <laughs> sunny teach me how do i get into the friend zone please sunny i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i can't handle it my back hurts my 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 ass muscles are the biggest muscles in my body. <laughs> Sonny, they're overworked. My ass hurts. I'm having so much sex. My ass hurts. All right, Romeo, I get it. I get it. The I didn't mean sex like that. I mean like your bum muscles. <laughs> so, but it's 99 problems, but seriously. <laughs> Don't worry, man. I will show you how to go straight to the friend zone. You could go from like, I will show you how to go from Plenty of fish to friend zone. So fast. It's not even funny. <laughs> okay. I will teach you how to turn a sure thing into a lifelong friend. Because <laughs> I already caught that. Okay, Romeo's up. <laughs> so Romeo's up. You can. Oh, hey, Sonny, do you think I'm going to get to first base tonight? Oh, my God. Let me tell you something even better than first base, my friend. Let me introduce you to what we call the friend zone. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like every night you're thinking of a bread stick. All right, whatever, man. Let's get on with it. <laughs> oh, my God. Where's this? Okay. <laughs> a, oh, my God. All right, everybody calm down. <laughs> Wing one was like, Wing one is like, Wait a second. What if I want to put someone in the friend zone? How do I do that? How do I do that? I've been a kiss. I've been a. Oh, all right. Next. I'll, all right. Okay. Next. What if I want someone to be in the friend zone? Okay. So. Starts. Okay. Next. Robio is up. Enough silliness. Uh, has it been enough silliness, Sonny? He's been enough silliness. Romeo's up. Guys, chill out. I have to look at Romeo's chart. I know we got we're having fun tonight, 
But what if I look at it? But what if I find out he's going to... What if there's like a bump on his wang? I got to find out. <laughs> so I got to let him know that he's going to be okay. It's important stuff. You guys don't realize how, how, like, you know, much responsibility is involved in being an astrologer or a psychic tarot reader, you know? Sonny, you didn't say I was going to get a bump on my wang. I wasn't... <laughs> I thought you were going to stay in the friend zone. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I don't know if you were going to... All right. All right. <laughs> okay, next. Sonny, I'm going out this 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 party this weekend. Am I going to end up... <laughs> okay, okay, enough, enough, enough. Here we go. Romeo's up. <laughs> so, Romeo is up. Romeo is February 11th, 1983, 10.58 a.m., in Andrews, Texas. Romeo is an Aquarian. <laughs> okay, so he is very logical. Like, here, yeah, Romeo is a smart guy. So, Romeo's an Aquarian, but his actual moon is in Aquarius, too. We've looked at this chart before. So, excuse me. So, look at Yoshi, friends, so lessons. Sonny, please, I can't take it anymore. Everybody thinks they're in a relationship with me just because we. <laughs> Yoshi's like, Sonny, please, Sonny, how do you do it? Just be, Yo Yoshi and Romeo are going to pass notes. Yeah, I don't get it. Everybody, every time I have sex with this guy, he keeps thinking we're in a relationship. I don't get it. Yeah, I let him buy me a car. Yeah, we live together, but he keeps thinking we're in a relationship. How do I put this guy back in the friend zone? You live with them? What? <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. You guys sort it all out. You guys sort it all out. <laughs> you guys sort all the friends old stuff out. All right, next. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, guys. So. Okay. So. Romeo's in Aquarius, right? Very logical guy. But his moon is also in Aquarius. And not a but. Hey, Jeanette. I hope you're having a super, super amazing night. We're just. I'm about to read Romeo's chart and take off. We're just goofing off. We're talking. We're making like, you know, like boner jokes. <laughs> so we're making sex jokes tonight. All right. We're just talking stupidness. All right. what? Let me get down to Romeo's chart. And then we'll move through. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll do a tarot reading. Yeah. You need the birth year. You do need the birth year. All right. Let's get back to it. Romeo is up. Here we go. I'll, I'll chill out. I'm being silly. Okay, so here we go. Back to Romeo. So what's going on in his chart? I'll show you stuff. So Aquarius. So Romeo has a very, very cool chart. So up here, I'll show you something that we didn't see tonight. So all of this stuff, right, at the top of the chart could be very popular, right? This is the stuff that we look for. For being popular, famous, you know, infamous, whatever it is. Um, at times, depending on what's there, running away from home, going outside, career stuff, to an extent, uh, authority figure stuff, awards, recognition, that kind of stuff. So there you go. So, and it's popular for different reasons with different people. So although it's popular and it's out in the world, it's different people, different reasons. I mean, this here, your seventh house, is can be popular as well. It's not necessarily only a house of marriage. All right. So a thing that we didn't, we haven't seen tonight, right now, we have, he has Mars conjunct Venus in his chart. Mars conjunct Venus in the chart tend to be very, they tend to be in really good shape. They tend to have really nice bodies. These guys tend to be natural, like natural athletes. Uh, very sexy, very natural athletes. Uh, in addition to that, they tend to attract where they put their energy. So mean conju Mar Mars conjunct Venus people tend to be very successful. So nothing dirty, not like super getting the horny or anything. This is having the horny. This is Romeo can't do without sex for more than 25 minutes. This is Jupiter and Uranus up there in the eighth house, right? But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about being healthy, happy, sexy, and successful. 
And Romeo really has this in the chart, really does. And, and so that's that right there. This over here, Romeo should inherit a lot of money, uh, uh, you know, unexpectedly inherit money, might win money, luckily, could make a lot of money in the stock market. Romeo could be very lucky financially. I wouldn't say go to the casino because in my book for casino, it's a little different, but like some people say you could win money unexpectedly like this. He actually has, they, if you study, study winning money in the lottery, they say the 11th house and the 8th house, when it's loaded like this, you could unexpectedly win a lot of money. So just a heads up on that. But we're looking at the natal chart and things have to be activated. And Jupiter and Saturn, right? Like all this stuff, like it's, yeah. you know, it's not the luckiest time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you looked at romeo and became pregnant why would you do that romeo is the type of guy you have to kiss with your eyes closed <laughs> you could go like you're getting you can't kiss romeo with your eyes open you're going to get pregnant i thought you knew it did. i should have told you guys that <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah well anyways you anyways anyways not everybody's a you know super famous stuff but that's the deal and, and the Pisces stuff, hold on a sec. The Pisces stuff is <clears throat> no inheritance yet, Romeo. What the fuck? <laughs> You're going to let the, what the fuck? A little, okay. It's okay. I'm just joking. I want my parents to live forever. No, it's an inheritance. It's inheritance. It's inheritance and having the super horny as well. But there's more, you know, Romeo, that's the jokey stuff. It's a serious, on the serious note, watch your health, right? On your serious note, watch your health, because in your natal chart, you could get a little bit sick, right? So when certain things transit, watch it. But like, nothing is transiting right now. You're okay to, you're, you're okay to goof off. <laughs> so you're okay. All right, what's going, so what's going on in your chart? So, over so you, okay so you have right now and for the last little while mars is doing all of this stuff in the um Mar mars is so money is money in money out your money part of your chart is very hot right now romeo so watch out for it like spending a lot of money making a lot of money spending a lot of money watch out for it old ideas returning about making money. Um, you know, I don't necessarily know that I see a new job happening for you. Like, I mean, I don't necessarily think that you lost your job recently, but like, if you're looking for a new job, I mean, Venus is cruising through right now. So this is the time. If you're looking for a job, like not a job, but if you want to get promoted, like promoted or a raise or an increase, a very high, it's a very solid opportunity to get a new job or to get promoted in the next two months. Promoted, new job, awards, public recognition. Now's the time for it. Seriously. There's also a possibility for an office romance. So if you're like, have a crush on any one of the other teachers or one of the other teachers have a crush on you, then it, you should probably go for it right now. Keep it quiet though, right? Don't make it too public. So possibility for an office romance over here mercury is back here so mercury is retrograde in the ninth house and mars is retrograde in the second house so so money is a little bit screwy right now right there might have been some bills or something right now you have to deal with also something at a distance has your attention you might be thinking about going back to school right with mercury retrograde right now thinking about going back to school um or you might be thinking about traveling, or you might be talking with people at a distance, speaking with people at a distance, but you're definitely thinking. Your mind is not, your mind is on higher learning. Your mind is on education. Your mind is on, on things at a distance. And so there you go. Wait, hold on. Let's pause. Yeah. Well, you're not going to, you know, yeah, like there's no like, I don't know what kind of promotion you get from being um, the counselor for you. Like, 
like i don't know how you get promoted like you're not going to open your own business <laughs> so like i'm not sure how you do it but i do see potential for a raise and some for public recognition for your efforts i do see that and yeah oh i was just pausing for a sec because yeah uh there is no list right now romeo's the last one on the list so when you're ready right after romeo's reading i'll read your cards and then we'll call it a night all right let me get back to work here so so public recognition romeo also when you go out into the world people are going to receive you very well you're going to be standing there like say you go to a restaurant or say you go to the grocery store people are going to walk up to you who know you and they're going to say hello so look your best dress your best when you go out be cool because people are literally going to walk up to you and say hello people that know you and like you so if you're looking for any kind of love vibe man then like get out into the world like literally go outside and people are going to see you and they're going to walk up and be attracted to you so that's the secret right now that's why they say it's a good time for career because you're going outside to talk to people when you're getting interviewed so that's the deal so problems at a distance so maybe something screwy with education right watch out for that kind of stuff um watch your money absolutely for the rest of the month watch your money regardless of the direction mars is going mars is still there so watch your money all right so that's so that's that is the moving energy right now in your chart that's what's going back and forth that's where the fluctuations are happening now over here jupiter is cruised all the way into your 12th house so oh okay so jupiter's in your 12th house so you should but chiron is there as well so but you should have a lot of support for everything you're doing right now there's a lot of support behind the scenes people are probably encouraging you and there's a lot there that even if you don't know or you don't recognize there's a lot of help and love and luck uh happening behind the scenes so more than likely if you ask for anything right now you're probably going to get it um you know and it's probably going to happen for you you should be you should, you're probably quite you're probably quite lucky so I would, you know, roll the dice, take chances. Uh, you can do things in private if you want. And it, you should be very successful and you should be well received with everything. Now, you guys ready for the negative stuff? On the negative side, Saturn is crossing your sun. Ah, oh, that sucks. Ah, <laughs> it's like it really sucks. Ah, it probably hurts, right? It probably feels like people around you are disappearing groups are like not liking you you're on the internet and like why does everybody hate me or like nobody's there and you're like what the hell i'm usually really lucky here i'm usually really good with this social stuff i'm really always in always invited to the party always asked to speak with everybody everything is always super cool but it's not right now and it's <laughs> it's not saturn is locking it down it's making your social game very quiet right that's the deal saturn is making all of this very quiet but so what you're an aquarius so saturn is the saturn thing for you is okay it might be weird but it's okay right so all these places where you used to be successful is going to be a little bit problematic so watch out for it but venus is arcing through now there's a warning here okay guys there's a warning can you guys see it in the chart let's blow this up and i'll show you when these guys right in about you know three months right in march when those guys have passed over and they're all into here in the 12th house you're going to be stuck we're going to be stuck with saturn and pluto as the main planets with nothing coming to help right there's nothing coming so with saturn and pluto they're going to be they're going to be uh your energy in your public energy so there's a possibility that right now is the job thing right now okay right now is the job thing but in march it's going to move on secret relationship in march right lovers kind of thing but then pluto is gonna you, you know you might have pluto and saturn are going to cause problems with your popularity starting in march so watch out for it there might be some problems at the office and there might be some social problems as well online problems with groups of people 
the group is making you do all this work. You have to speak at another convention. You know, that's the kind of that's the kind of stuff that's coming up. So be careful. Do you guys see it? Do you guys see what's happening? Right? It looks good. I'm saying good things, but these guys are going to clear out, right? All of that's going to disappear. And what's left is tricky, right? What's left hap living in you, you know, it's very slow and it's going to cause problems. So be successful when you have the opportunity. And now you have the opportunity. So really get out there and do it. And that's what's going on in the chart. You know, you sunny, am I going to find love? No, you might actually get divorced right now. <laughs> Just, I would say when Mars, sorry, when the south node cruises through and finally gets past all of this down here, right, in the next couple of weeks or in the next two months or so, two, three months, when the south node finally makes it into Libra, then you're going to be no more, you know, relationships are going to be okay. But as the south node creeps down here, you are going to have to watch your health. South node is going to cross Saturn and is it, it is going to cross Saturn and Pluto uh, next summer. It could cause, you know, some health problems and relationship problems. But I wouldn't stress it out. You're not. You you could like. I don't. You shouldn't. <laughs> you're going to be relationships are okay. All right. You already went through the Saturn square. Right. A couple of years, you know, a couple of years ago, you went through the Saturn square two years. So like, you know, 2021, you know, so I wouldn't you're good. You're you're going to be OK. You're almost out of all this stress. What do you mean <laughs> to know how to read the charts? But what do you mean? What do you mean you're way ahead of yourself, Romeo? Are you like. Like. You know. You know, in shotgun weddings, the shotgun's pointed at the guy, right? <laughs> like, just a reminder, <laughs> reminder, like, you know, but like, what do you mean ahead of yourself? I think, let's go look at, let's go look at something else here. I think, I'll tell you what you should be focused on or where the energy is going to focus this year. The energy is going to focus... Okay, so Romeo, you know, you started a new cycle, a new kind of life cycle, a Dasha cycle, in 2014. And in 2014, you entered into a cycle of massive expansion, uh, where this luck and harmony uh, was being applied to all of your planets in different areas of your life. And it started in 2014. Some kind of shift should have happened. In 2022 until 2025, your Venus is highlighted and Jupiter is applying to your Venus. Uh, you're going through this cycle here. Now, keep in mind, your Venus is also attached to your Mars. So you have a very blessed Venus. So what's going to happen is from now, not from now, from August 2022 all the way to 2025, you should be focused on the 11th house, this area of your chart. So Romeo, as crazy as this sounds, you should be focused on groups of people. You should really be focused on hopes, dreams, and aspirations. This should be a very, very good time in your life. And quite sincerely, I think you should meet someone like right now, between now and 2025. And you might actually, like this is a good time to fall in love and meet somebody right now. You're going through your Venus Dasha in the 11th house. You should be very popular for the next couple of years. And love should find you. Love is waiting with groups of people. You have friends and lovers naturally in your chart. The negative side is... The negative side is obviously Jupiter's past, right? <laughs> Jupiter was in Pisces for the last year. And you would have been super lucky in love in the in, like all of 2022. You were probably super duper lucky in love and super popular. But now it's kind of, you know, it's waning a little bit. You're moving on. So, so there you go. So you got to watch all that kind of stuff. But I think things are going to be, I think things are good. 
So I see your year as this. So I think right now you're lucky. Very publicly, things are good. Very, very good for you. Go out into the world. Like, seriously, go out. But after March, it's going to shift. And after March, you're going to be focused on yourself and you're going to be focused inwards more. Because this stuff, you're going to, with Saturn and Pluto in these areas, you're going to want to stay away from it naturally. You're going to say, oh, the group is being so tiresome, or I have to go do this, or maybe something happens at the office and your your um, your organization loses its funding or something, right? And you have to lose your, you might lose your job or your company closes down, you know, so that kind of thing, you know, it might happen on the horizon. You have to watch out for it. So that's going to be negative. So you're going to be focused on other things, these guys here. And so right? That's what's going on. So that's where you're going to focus your attention. And so you're going to be focused probably behind the scenes. Like you might get into a secret romance and by secret romance, I don't mean you're going to start dating anybody in like in secret. What I mean is you guys are probably going to hang out at home all the time. So instead of going out, like eating to the bar every night with your girlfriend, your, or your boyfriend, what you're going to do is you guys are going to stay in a lot, right? 12th house, stay in a lot. And so you're going to hang out in the background. So I think that's the deal, right? Because once again, there's nothing going on. Like that part of your chart is empty. And this part of your chart is going to clear out by March. And so all of the energy is going to be down here, except Mars, right? Mars is going to be over here. You know, watch for car accidents, that kind of stuff. And that's what I see happening. I think you're going to meet somebody this year. You're super lucky in love. You'll be dealing with groups of people, but I think you're going to be hanging back a little bit this year. So that's what I think. If you want to, that's what I think. If you wanted to start a hobby or something, you'd be very successful at it. And what the hell, Romeo? I think as your astrologer, if you wanted to open an OnlyFans page, you would open an OnlyFans page. <laughs> so I didn't say anything else about it. Oh, man. Remember, Romeo, if you do an OnlyFans, you don't have to you don't have to show your face. <laughs> oh my god, Romeo, how are you gonna well how am I gonna know we're friends if I don't show you my face? <laughs> oh man. What happened? Gaming is gonna get him. It's so cute. But Sonny. But Sonny, what the hell? Look. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you think I own shares in the company, right? <laughs> so like uh, I can just bug you guys. All right. Hey Romeo, it's great to see you again. Thanks for dropping in, man. It's great to see you again. It's great to see gaming again. You know, these are guys for all the new sunny satters, these are OG sunny satters I haven't seen in a while. It's great to see everybody. And that's, I think that's the deal. I think that's the deal. I think that's it. Uh, we, we do have a Facebook page. It's not the same thing. It's many fans on the Facebook page. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it is private, though. <coughs> Shut up. I feel like you're making me say stupid, you me, I'm saying stupid shit. All right, I got to get out of, I got to go. I got to go check out Mama Sunshine. And I got to go make sure everything is set for tomorrow. <laughs> you guys. It's chemo day tomorrow, right? We got to go to the hospital in the morning. So, well, you know what, guys? I wasn't going to stay on this late tonight, but I'm glad I stayed on. I'm glad I, we talked. I'm glad we had a lot of fun. I'm uh, really happy. Uh, we looked at Aaliyah's chart. I'm glad we got that done. Dope's chart was fun. We met Kay. Kay's really cool. And... The, um, the, you know, Madison didn't work out for K, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> They're all, that's okay. It's all going to be cool, guys. All right, Romeo, have a super, super amazing night. It's great to see you guys again. No, Jeanette probably took off because it's getting a little bit late. That's all right. I'll see Jeanette tomorrow. It's okay. I'll be back tomorrow. And then Thursday's horoscopes. All right. Tell all your friends.
Oh shit, Kay, I didn't do your tarot reading. So, am I waiting for you to do tarot reading? Jeanette didn't pay, so we're not doing her tarot reading. Did you? So, although she paid a lot yesterday, she really did. <laughs> so, am I missing somebody? Hold on a sec. No, I think Jeanette took off because you know how I get. I'm always going. Ugh. No, I think she's she'll be back tomorrow. That's cool. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. I'm just double checking here. Oh, my God. Why? This is what the fuck. No, she'll be back tomorrow. All right, guys, let's get out of here. And having said all of that and done all of that, I hope everyone has a super amazing night, man. When I'm back tomorrow night, we'll be drinking wine again. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait till after the readings first. But that's the deal. All right, guys, have a wonderful night. And with that, from the sunny side.net, I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the best of a super, super beautiful night. Thanks, everyone, for dropping by. Thanks for saying hello. Thanks for being cool. Remember, it's always a beautiful day to be beautiful. It's, it's always a beautiful day to be beautiful, but it's together that makes it a beautiful day. Unless you're hanging out with some toxic-ass motherfuckers, and then you have to push them in the water. But that's okay. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be a good day. From the sunny side, dot, dot, I'm sending everyone the best of a super amazing day, night, <laughs> and I'll see you.